everyone, and welcome back to the Gauntlet! Audience Interactive Dungeons and Dragons Combat Chaos, where our adventurers are continuing through their never-ending quest to defeat every monster of the multiverse. Happy Friday, everybody. I am your Gauntlet Master, Emmy. I hope you haven't had an absolutely fantastic, amazing, lovely, wonderful week. We are so happy to have you here. Returning for our cast tonight, we have RJ as Camber. Hey, what up, everybody? We have Carrie as Charlie. Hey, everybody. It's been a couple weeks, but I'm excited to see where, what, when we are. We have Josh as Wyatt. Hold on to your puns, because Wyatt is back. And we have Jeff as Pam. TGIF, Friday the Oasis for the Common Man. It's true. Yeah. Thank you all so very much for being here. We do have some folks. Come on, computer, work with me here. Uh, we do have some folks that we need to send some thank yous out to Lachlan, O'Leary, and Zarby, both subscribing. Uh, They're hey. in the chat. Pull up chairs. We are so happy to have you. We're going to say hey howdy to some of the folks who've dropped by to cheer you on. We have. Scroll on through. We have Witch King 109. We have Lister's Mate. We have Lachlan O'Leary. We have Zagmeister. We have Annabelle. We have Zarby, OG Deadly 7. Oh. We have Scarn for uh, oh. Scarn 69 420. We <laughs> have Abe Solemn. Yes. Oh my goodness. So good to have all of you oh lovely human beings. And I'm seeing a lot of chat about it here really quickly, just because that we it's very well known we are in the greater Los Angeles area. We're gonna be okay. We're all prepped and pretty safe here. The tavern is going to be just fine, but we thank all of you for thinking of us. Thank you so very much. And if you are out here in this part of the world, stay safe. Stay dry. Stay, stay dry. Good luck. <laughs> uh, stay inside. Um, but yes, thank you all so much. We appreciate you. Hope you're all absolutely doing very well. Ah, yep, you're right. Thank you. Abe, we'll get that fixed right away. Let me fix that real quick here. We had some characters at Dosey Doe. The trucks. Yeah. Spin your partner around and around. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the scenes. Okay. All right. Um, I don't believe we have any huge announcements, which just leads us to the message from the returning sponsor of the Conlight, Cantrip Candles. You may notice that none of the people who actually <laughs> do the message are in the cast tonight for potentially no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Please, Under please, no I missed so many weeks. Do you, please. <laughs> do you want to send an apology to Kristoff right now? I will personally write it. <laughs> I have been told, actually, that I sh I cannot talk during the ads. <laughs> <laughs> it's in your contract. It's, it's, it's a risk. <laughs> uh, say, yeah, okay. we're risking the risking the country. Uh, the the country. The yes. whole country. The entire, country. Yes. <laughs> the entire United States will fall into. That's also on my resume, but for different reasons. Pandemonium. That's a death. Welcome in, welcome in smoking dragon gaming at Omega Scales. The country, the company is what I wanted to say. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but in any case, so I'll give it really quickly. Please go check out Cantrip Candles, the amazing sponsor of season two of The Gauntlet. Autumn Festival is getting ready to drop here in the next bit of time. It is absolutely amazing if you want your entire house to smell like pie mm -hmm. and also leaves and, and a whole bunch of other things that are very, very fall. If you're as ready for fall as I am, um, as you can tell from the everything about me, I'm super ready for Halloween. So, uh, go get yourself some Autumn Festival. They are candles with a story designed to smell like locations in your D&D &D games. Uh, you can also use them in board games, video games. I just use them for general ambience because they burn a heckin' treat. And at intermission, we will be giving away a $15 coupon code to their website or their store if you happen to be in the area. Uh, this is going to be an international giveaway, so be sure to stick around. It dropped today, Lachlan O'Leary's telling me. Yep. Oh, yep. I was, yep. Oh, so, good I know. You are all surprised. I want to burn Autumn Festival and the new jungles mm. together. together to make like an amazing witch's cottage. It would really smell very witchy. Awesome. 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 Although, pro tip if you want to be hungry, you, bro you burn the Goldie Bakery and the Autumn Festival yes. together. Yes. Right. Yep. Apple pie. Apple it's pie. like with the it's jelly perfect. beans that you put together. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you get two of the small ones and you burn them together, I'm just yeah. saying. Mm -hmm. But I'm not saying the name of the jelly beans because they're not sponsoring us yet. No. Mm -mm. Get on it, jelly beans. <laughs> um, so, yes, thank you so much. <laughs> and the don't eat the candles. candles. 
don't. They do smell, smell so good. good. I say, really don't. Yeah, not. I mean, they're soy. You'll probably be okay. But... <laughs> With stuff in it. You're gonna join me on Sneaking not being allowed to talk during the ads. <laughs> Eventually, I just won't be allowed to talk during hey, the show. Hey, shit! Eat <laughs> <I mean, laughs> the candle. <laughs> There's no D6 for bad health advice. In any case, I think that is probably all of the announcements we have before the stream. So, Lachlan O'Leary, don't. Um, <laughs> with that, Gauntleteers, are you ready to re-enter the labyrinth? Yes. Yeah, let's do it. When last we met our heroes, they had fought their way into the last room of ladder. Oh, I forgot the name of my own game. Slides and climbers. Slides and climbers. Legally, Legally distinct. Legally distinct. <laughs> Legally distinct slides and climbers. Is that the subtitle? <laughs> Legally distinct. It's what I keep saying. <laughs> <isn't> <laughs> it? It's on the box. Welcome <laughs> in, M MW Reaper X. So good to have you. You had finally entered the last room of slides and climbers, and instead of finding some maniacal Brennus-themed adventure. Instead, you met a Sphinx, who, after solving some riddles, offered the adventurers some very helpful advice, which was to run. Then, having re-entered Brennus's room, the adventurers found themselves in a deep discussion with her and were prompted by something deep in their hearts to try and remove her from the room. Mm. Huh. Finding themselves unable, they have landed outside, somewhere deep in the bowels of the gauntlet. Yeah, shoot. <laughs> and with that, This can't be good. What'd y'all do? Uh, Camber, uh -huh. as you are having a conversation with your friends, without any noise, without any sound, you turn over your shoulder and realize that you are the only one remaining in the room. And as you turn your head back, a completely different set of friends is with you. All of you have landed here, surrounded by clicks and Words, the sound overhead of giant stones grinding across somewhere above you, beneath you, to the side. Constant movement, and yet somehow eerie and quiet. Wyatt, you have been here before. Yeah, I have. <laughs> you are underneath the gauntlet. Which King 109 is filling you up with adrenaline surges? Uh, uh, uh who broke? The gauntlet this time? Wait, broke the gauntlet? I mean, this we're... isn't. Is this another game? No, I... this ain't no. This ain't no additional so. game. This isn't Thank the goodness. Um, so tired of those games. Sorry, just a little. I got a little vertigo. I thought I was seeing something for a moment because you all weren't here, but now you're here. Um. Yeah. Well, we. We finished Slides and Climbers, and then we talked with Brennus, and Fionn tried to take Brennus with us back to the sanctuary. Oh, God. Why? Fionn. Um, you'll ha they'll have to explain the reasons behind it, but basically, we were trying to help her. We were trying to do something different than we'd done before when trying to confront her about playing nice and, you know, uh, letting us, you know, allowing us to you know, accomplish the dreams and goals that we had. So he thought maybe we should take take her with us to the sanctuary. That didn't go over well. There was some sort of protective barrier locking her into the, into her nursery, we found, and then all of a sudden we ended up here. And we just plopped here, and now all of a sudden you guys are here, so. I don't know how we get back. I thought you guys, does it, I don't know. Camber's just kind of puzzled and kind of runs his head through his hair. Um, what? But it sounds like why you have per perused these halls uh, as well? Uh, peruse is one word you could use, yeah. Um, uh, we are, I think, uh, 
under, outside, within the gauntlet, but not yeah. in the parts where it's supposed to be in. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, well, let me say, there's a, not a pleasant way out of here, unfortunately. No? What, what do you mean by not a pleasant way out of here? How did you get out last time? Well, luckily, Isri found me, but, uh, well. Lister's made his focused pan. Add plus one to your next attack roll. Yeah, we don't see Isri right now, do we? No, and uh, even af- even after she found me, well, she had to kill me. Oh, what? Mm. Mm-hmm. Welcome in, Spoonkins. I'm sorry. Isra killed you? Isra killed me. I, I, Did y'all fight it out, or was it something? Yes, how strong was Isra? She was, uh, I mean, was it like a flash very, of light? Very humane. I felt a little prick in my neck. And the world went dark, and next thing I knew, I was back in the uh, back in the sanctuary with y'all, but. So if we die here, we end up back in the sanctuary. That's how you get out? Right. Well, Unless we but can figure out how to re-shunt ourselves back in. Right. I mean, we're not supposed to be out here. The whole the whole thing. Firebomb us? No, I... No. <laughs> oh, wait, um, no, I don't think we need to be <laughs> that rash. Down first. I, I'm just going through the logical steps. I will you say, know? Isri's method was way less painful than a fireball. Yeah, did <laughs> Isri then off themselves? That's a good question. It's my question. Because if they managed to get here, then we may be able to leave the same way that (laughs) Isri would have then returned. You know, I didn't think to ask. (laughs) You Um, just said, kill me. I didn't say anything. Oh. (laughs) I was, uh, well, she was, she was nice about it, but I got a little, uh, earful. Dude, Hmm. when you were here last, did you, it, it, just looking around, it looks like there was, like, maybe a ladders between? Did you, like, Explore a lot. Yes. I How much wandering did you can't do? Can't say. I mean, it's all moving around us. It's all gears and turning, and I don't know. I don't. I mean, it all looks familiar, but oh boy. <laughs> Zagmeister wants to spin the wheel of chaos on you, Wyatt. All right. All right. <laughs> I couldn't imagine why. Also, welcome in Dragon Dad eighty eight. Real quick. I happen to know it's Dragon Dad eighty eight's birthday. Can we get some shrimps? Oh, hey, happy birthday! Happy birthday! birthday. All right. Wonderful. And in that happy birthday. Round and round, this wheel's about to go. Oh. Where it's about to stop, why it's about to find out. Can I step away from why? <laughs> <laughs> High winds. Oh, God. Uh, oh, no. What? Where uh, are I you? I hope there's walls oh, here. Oh, okay. <laughs> it looks like walls. Kinda. <laughs> Depends on your definition of a wall. Good thing we're not out on those tracks. Yeah. <laughs> As you were blown here. You'd be minced rabbit. <laughs> uh huh. Something. I got a feeling that they're coming for this jar. I had to upgrade jars <laughs> between weeks. That sounds just so, so heavy. Would you so just, like, loud. <laughs> Clever foodie, thank like you so much for that subscription. the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. 18 months, my we'll watch so happy to have you. Oh my god. Something is pulling Wyatt in this direction. <laughs> well, Perhaps I'll we should catch him. <laughs> it gets blown into Great. me. Why, did you look at the, if, if looking around, it seems like there was like a box with like levers and stuff. What? I mean, do look, I it was, uh, you it was do. All, all kind of a blur. You certainly do. Gol- um, Golem Master, do I recognize any? Vaguely, you recognize the style of the construction, right. but give me a quick, um, I will allow this to be an either intelligence or wisdom check. My strong suits. Uh, just a straight intelligence or wisdom. We'll make it a wisdom. Whatever your preference is. Uh, yeah, that's an eight. An eight? It's very hard to try and ascertain where you are in the scheme of any of this. It's, yeah. You, it seems to be confusing, if not by design, just simply by nature. There's probably an order to this, but it's not an order you can understand, but the one thing you can tell is lots of things are moving above right. you, around you. The things you are on seem to currently be stable, right. but you do feel gears moving underneath the floor. The floor itself is not completely stiff. So, trying, you do get the impression that trying to map this would be a nightmare. Not possible. Great. Um, can I go over to this, the, the box gear box Yeah, thing? of course you can. Um, oh, as I made Still measuring. map mini sized. Um, what do I see? Sure. Um, it appears to be a gearbox. Uh, if you want to look at it further, um, yes, please. Give me a quick investigation check. Just see what you ascertain from looking at this thing. We were just talking about if I load, ro- rolled low. Um, not, uh, 
13. 13? Okay. Um, it doesn't seem to be a terrifyingly complicated device. Uh, wow. It's got a pulley. It oh. has got a red gem inset into the top. Um, let me check this. And it appears to have a drawer underneath. Some of these, there's some pressure readings and some dials, but there does seem to be a drawer underneath, a little area where you can put something. It is empty. Hmm. Uh huh. That was going to be my second question. <laughs> uh, seems like this may be a control panel of some kind. There's knobs and things. I'm not a total mechanical person. I'm more of the arcane, but um, maybe something like this will help us get there or I mean, go places. With all due respect, I've had, like, it kind of looks like something that you operate some of the machinery, you know, to load in and out of the, yeah, the places yeah. that I've been before. Can I just jam come up and just pull that lever that you mentioned was there? Absolutely. See if happens? Um, as you pull it, it moves forward. It doesn't lock. It slides back hmm. as you let go. Hmm. Can I be looking at this bridge in front of me, the smaller of them, just examining how traversable it is? Absolutely. What sort um, of. I will allow this to be investigation or weirdly survival. Then I will do. <laughs> Investigation. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Um, it's a gangplank of some kind. Um, it would be akin in a more modern sense of like a catwalk, hmm. um, where you can sort of see through the bottom. It doesn't look like the steadiest thing you've probably ever walked on. It does not have railings. Mm. You probably want to be careful traversing it, but it is possible. You do want to be careful. Can I back up a bit and then do a long jump over it? <laughs> you absolutely can. Okay. I'll say I will allow you to do your own long jump math because I trust all of you with okay. this. Okay, I think it's because this is. Strength. Yeah, long, uh, long jump is uh, 10 feet plus your strength score, not your modifier. Okay, your and score. this is 15 feet, so 28 would be the number of feet I can jump. Yeah. Provided so, you have a 10 foot lead up. Okay, and that's, so that'd be 5, 10, and then there, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely you can. So while you're all looking at that, <laughs> I just inspect the bridge and then whoop, vault over it. Hey, hey. Wait, 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 where are you heading? Can they see, how low are the ceiling, or the walls here? Uh, they can, you can see each other, but okay. you, so the walls come up to, on most of you, on the bunnies, it's a little bit uh, <laughs> but for most So I just of say you, ears. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for most of you, it's about here height. Uh -huh. It's high yeah. enough that you get the impression that vaulting over it would probably be difficult. Difficult. Hard. It also All looks right. to be made of a smooth metal. Mm -hmm. um, but you can see over it, generally. Okay. Uh, I'm over here. I just wanted to investigate this spot over here. What do you see? I like stand on my tiptoes. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Um, yeah, I can get on your shoulders. What's your passive investigation? So it's 10 plus your investigation. 13. Uh, 13. A lot of the same. Uh, there does appear to be another box with another lever. Um, hmm. I'll peep that box. Sure, are you going to go investigate it or are you just pulling on it? <sighs> I'll investigate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very tempted, but... Uh, 17? 17, excellent. Nice. Um, very similar to the one that Charlie and Camber were looking at. Okay. Um, however, this one does appear to have a blue gem inset in the top. Mm -hmm. Its drawer is also empty. The drawer is empty? Yeah, there's that little drawer area. Empty. So okay. it's underneath all the gears and levers. There's a little pull-out drawer, and you can mm -hmm. see on the inside of it's empty. Okay. So the drawer itself has... Um, an open area over the top as well, okay. so you can see what you put in the drawer. Uh, I have a blue light and an empty drawer that looks as though it could accommodate something. I have a red light and an empty drawer. Um, does this mm -hmm. appear like arcane at all? Like Give me magical? a quick arcana check. Let's go with someone else. Oh, that's way better. <laughs> um, 25. 25. Nice. 
Yes, Good this boy. definitely appears to be magical. It appears to be a combination of mechanical and arcane somewhere melded together. Um, but yes, you do get the impression that there is an arcane focus to this. You get the impression this entire area is probably dripping with such a combination. Um, Pan, I think they're magical. I don't know if that means magical get something in the drawer or what, but this whole place is kind of reeking of it. You don't say, okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean it is a gauntlet. That narrows it down. <laughs> but the, the thing itself with the pulleys and levers is especially magical. What if y'all try pulling the, the handles at the same time, like in synchronicity? Sure. All right. Why not? Human Let's try it. Okay. Uh, on three, and we're sure. each going to... One, two, two three. three. Very much the same. It does not lock. Oh. It slides back to its original. Did y'all uh, Let's get just any... make things pan sealing luck. Your next uh, roll will be made with five variants. Yes, thank you. Get anything physical out of any of the, the rooms of no. the, the lab? No. Do you still have your hat? Emmy, do I still <laughs> have my hat? You do. I do! Oh, what a day! It I is must have looked so cool jumping. cold <laughs> and soaking wet. But yes, it is It'll dry. on your head. <laughs> I'm still, but I'm dry. Yes, the hat, is just, the hat is wet. Is this, I guess I'll investigate later if this hat is just perpetually soaked in <laughs> cold and wet. Because <laughs> that, I, yeah, I see why you do that. <laughs> um, yeah, Cameron, nothing happened on this side. Well. Maybe there's more? Yeah, uh, GM, does this uh, longer walkway on the eastern side seem to be of similar condition uh, to what I saw pan across? Um, Give me another, just just see if we can get some more information. Mm -hmm. Give me another, yeah, I'll take investigation or survival. Sur survival. <laughs> Natural 20, G. Yes! yes! Okay. Um, absolutely. This thing seems to be very similar to the last one. Mm -hmm. um, it does seem traversable, but does not seem steady. You've seen mm -hmm. things like this being made to cross distances. They seem to be temporary. It also seems to be uh, flexible. So mm. if things move, you get the impression it could sort of sure. move with it. Yeah. Um, but you also get the impression you could probably fall off of this thing fairly easy. Traversable, yes. With a teeny bit of peril? What do like about this much peril? I'll just look down at Nico and be like, hey, buddy, you what? might want to glide across some of these just to, just to keep things a little easier, That's okay? Good idea. Nico. Flat side <laughs> I'll just give him a smack. <laughs> Goes flying over your side. Can you see through his eyes over there? No. Oh. Um, but I just want to make sure that he don't uh, he don't trip nothing and you know domino yeah. domino effect. Why? That's, if that's you smart. like uh, if you like moving in lockstep. Well, look, I I know neither one of us is cats, but I'm a lot closer in size, so maybe I go sure. first. Yeah, yeah. I, I can I, fly. Would that be... You can't? You can't? Yes! I mean, I can make us all, well, some of us. No, fall. it doesn't cost me. It doesn't? No, I have this necklace gem, remember? Right, right, the purple oh. amethyst, but doesn't that still cost something? Yeah, I have a tongue. Oh. I, as, as clever as that is, I don't know if that is entirely a no, I'm just saying, if, yeah, you yeah. Need, if, you, if you need somebody to go across, I can also see like, through snow. Gollum Master, how far down is it if we were to fall off? <laughs> Into the gears. <laughs> but look, I told you there's one way out of here. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> that seems to be variable. Oh, okay. Um, oh, you get the impression you wouldn't want to. How is that? Part right underneath you, white fog. Okay. Um, I like tying rope to each other so, like, someone can, if someone starts falling, can pull them up. Here's what? the thing this seems like a functional part of the gauntlet. I can't imagine that people who are maneuvering and operating these levers on a regular basis would do so in such treacherous conditions. I think it's probably fine to just walk across. I start walking. All right, give me a quick acrobatics check. Uh-huh, my specialty. Oh, that's a soft 20. Nice. It is wobbly, but not so wobbly as so you feel completely in danger. It is something you do feel like you have to focus on. 
I probably wouldn't want anyone distracting you while you're doing this, but cool. manageable. So I make it across? You do. All right. I will... F- it's not so bad, just to take your time. Yeah, sure. I'll follow suit. All right, same thing. Uh, athletics? Ac- uh, acrobatics in this sure. instance. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, that is a 16. More than manageable. Kind of use the rungs... Uh, and the stand, I'll stand on the, the. I see there's wood bolted to metal, so I'll kind of use the bolting points there and kind of steady myself before. But it's a s- slow trudge when we make it all the way. All right. I'll turn around. Hey, Charlie, you, uh. Yeah? Which way are you gonna go? Are you gonna head with Pan? You wanna head with me and Wyatt? I figure someone should stay at each of these things. At some point, I think we're gonna all have to pull some levers. I awesome. agree with them. You'll be our anchor. I'll be here. Um. Unless. That being said, what do you see over there? I'll turn around, GM, mm-hmm. and try and observe with Wyatt this interesting contraption to the north. There does indeed <laughs> seem to be an interesting contraption to the north. Uh, it is made primarily of two central pipes that seem to lead and are bolted heavily into the floor. Coming out of that are several other smaller pipes that all seem to be connected to a series of dials. In the front, there appears to be, I think anything more, you'd actually might have to do a quick investigation check, but that's that seems to be what's going on. My, it's a lot of bits, a lot of bobs. I'm going to point out some of these elements and, and potentially help Camber investigate. I will allow that, sure, sure. If you both want to make the check or if you want to take it with uh, the help action. Mine's not the, the best. Same, so. All right. <laughs> mine's a negative. Mine is not a negative, so uh, I'll take the why advantage. Don't, why don't you take the advantage? Okay, yeah. yeah. So, like, so that's yeah, check, red. Check that, check it's that. one of the colors. Check that gear that over there. That blue. We just did the last puzzle was about primary colors, so let's start there. Easiest first. <laughs> All right. Um, investigation is a 15. 15. Okay, nice. more than enough. Um, you do see that the front of this has um, what almost looks to be like a little furnace. You see some burning, some charred remains, some charcoal on the inside, uh, but it does seem to be inactive at this time. You also notice three dull, no light behind them gemstones on the side. A green, a red, and a blue. Um, Anything to take out of it? or? I mean, the little furnace thing seems to have very similar to the rest of these devices, a little drawer that you would probably put something in. But, but it's empty right now? It is empty. Where's Fion when you need someone to put their arm in something? <laughs> um, so wait, you said oh, that dear. there's a green, a red, and a blue gem? Yeah, there's like some sort of device here with a bunch of pipes and dials and stuff, and there's spots for a green gem, a red gem, and a blue gem, though they seem kind of dull and lifeless, so... And there's also a small little, like, furnace drawer with some very dying embers. Mm. What happens if I pull this lever? Do it, Charlie. Try it out. All right. Pull my lever. Do we see anything in conjunction with her say, with them saying uh, about lever? No. Okay. Mm. Does anything on the one I'm looking at seem removable or... No. Okay. Hey, Pan? Yes! Um, do you... Do you have anywhere you can go from that room? Maybe we need to keep looking for something to put in the drawer that we can then transport over there with this, this like, situation. <laughs> I am glad you asked, and I will do another long jump across to this area, this 20 foot to the east. Right okay. What do I see? I see uh, another thing to the south. Uh, yes, you see a nether area to the south of you. Um, you see what appears to be a rise di- raised dais in the center, and you see a nether lever pole station okay. also on this area as well. I have a, a, a big plate! Um, and then another one of these uh, little lever situations. Which, which one should I check what, out, do you think? What color? What color is this? I'll go over to the lever station. What am I saying? Uh, give me a quick investigation. It's that one. Ooh, <laughs> oh, no. oh, boy. It's a plate! <laughs> Wait, um, no, the lever! <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at it! Um, 
this thing is a little bit funky heads and tails wise you're starting to get a little bit frustrated with it yep um what's your passive investigation just so i 13. know you know, I should. I can go with that. Let's. Normally, I don't. <laughs> since you're actively looking, but considering you've seen other, you've been looking at other one of these. I'm going to add that kind of into consideration with this. Thank you. Um, you do see that this one has a green dull gem on the inside. You do see something inside the drawer in this one, but it's kind of hard to make out what. I'd like to open up the drawer and. Here, investigate again. Okay. I don't know if I. This is just going to be you looking. Right. Like, okay. What do I see? Obvious. What's the? There is actually a green gem in this one. Oh, a um, green, and this is lit up. It is not lit up, um, but it is. There is on the inside of this drawer. There is a green gem, very similar to the one that's inlaid into the top, but it's slightly larger. I have an idea, and I'd like to pull the lever. Wrong lever. <laughs> oh no. Did you? Where is the gem currently? Oh, it's in the drawer. Okay. You okay. left it in the drawer? Okay. Right. Uh, then in that case, what happens is when you pull on it, it locks into place. Ooh. Oh. The gem on the top lights up and starts to glow a soft green. Okay. And am I able to then, if I open the drawer, would I take it out? Would I be able to take it out or is it locked in there? You can open up the drawer, but the second you do, it, okay. it dull. It goes, it, the light dims and the lever goes back to its starting point. I think I figured something out. What? Oh, there yeah. was a gem in the drawer here. It matched the color. Or it was the was the light on the top green too? Yes. Okay. So there was a green gem in this thing. I pulled the lever. The light went on, and the lever stayed. So there must possibly be some, other gems about. Yes, yeah, so we got to find some corresponding red gems and blue uh, gems yeah, for the other blue. devices. Right. Do you right. do you want help looking? Sure. Uh, Only if I, I don't, I don't want to go over some of these bridges <laughs> by foot. I'd like to go by hopping, as you both do. That would yeah, be. that's. Uh, did, did, did anything change with the furnace contraption in our room? No. All right. Um, I'm gonna send Snowball. Okay. Flying over everything and doing. Doo -doo -doo, make it quick. Flying over everything. Okay. And um, I've never done this before, but like my eyes are just gonna go like almost completely white mm -hmm. as I'm gonna look through Snowball's eyes and like nice. basically see what Snowball sees because I don't wanna jump over anything until I know what's happening over there. This being the first time you've ever done this, it is completely disorienting. Yeah. For a second, you almost feel your lunch rising in your throat, and then you you hold it back down. Oh. Like Everything it. is... It's lo like looking through a fishbowl. Oh, Everything wow. is ever so slightly distorted and completely rounded. You have a very different sense of your periphery. Okay. Uh, but it's moving very, very fast. But you are, in fact, able to look over here. Uh, give me a quick investigation. I will let you know this is using your owls. Uh, <laughs> is it investigation or perception? Uh, it depends on what you're trying to do. You're trying to get a lay of the land or look at something specifically. Lay of the land. Lay of land perception. Great, because owl has advantage <clears throat> on perception. Correct. Yes. And has a higher perception than I do. Wow. Some um, owl. What? Some owl. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so that's a 19. A 19? Excellent. Um, okay. So uh, you do notice that there is a dais on the floor. Okay. Um, it seems to have some magical inscriptions on it that seem to be done in a blue ink. There appears to be a never another one of the levers here, and it does have a soft green gem. Again, it is dull, unlit at this time. Um, on the top. Can I have Snowy hop like was flying, but he's gonna hop onto the ground and like awkwardly waddle over to the um, Arcana like 
on the ground and basically like since I'm staying in through Snowy's eyes I want to try to see if I can figure out what the arcana is like okay. what it says uh, the other thing I'll let you know as you're doing that snowball will notice that there is a door a door Ooh. this large purple thing that's there on the side of the map there right that is it yeah okay. that is a door um, but yeah, feel free to have Snowball take a look at that again. You're looking through your owl's eyes. I believe this check. I'll double check it, but I believe this check is with Snowball's intelligence. Because you're trying to get Snowball to look at the right thing. It's not mine since I'm looking through the eyes? I don't think so. Let me double check. <coughs> I'll oh, walk. Okay. You know, Weaver is probably what y'all should have done with Brennis. Just saying. <laughs> As with ways, and uh, fun, puts a d6 in the jar. It would have been, I think that's a record. <laughs> For all the future wizards out there, make sure to get familiar with your stat blocks. d6 in the jar. Wow. <laughs> and with that, Annabelle wants to spin the wheel of chaos on Wyatt. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Round and round this wheel's about to go, where it's gonna stop. Wyatt's about to find I'm out. Man. I got it. <laughs> oh my God. To solve this, we're so close. I can taste it. Hide and seek. Oh, for the next mm. three uh, rounds, you're under the effect. Or uh, the next two rounds, you're under the effect of the blink spell. Um, so you can jump anywhere, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just says that I it's ten okay. feet. So so you you right there. <laughs> <laughs> I say, um, all right, um, I was oh incorrect. God. You may make this check, so you may make this arcana check. Um, it is. <laughs> For things like perception, I'm going yeah, to yeah. have it be the owl, but this is your mind thinking here, so I'll um, allow that. 25. 25? Okay. Um, this appears to be some kind of a lock. Uh, it appears to probably be something that needs to be manipulated in order to open the door, you would probably gather. Um, it also It seems to have um, both some abjuration and... Um, Hold on, what school of magic is that? Yeah, what school of magic is that? Love. Uh, conjuration. Oh. It also, no. <laughs> can I Heart. tell what needs to happen to open the lock, or no? Not really, no. Um, okay. It just seems to not have been fulfilled. Um, uh, all right. But yes, that that would be the thing you would gather is that whatever needs to be done has not been done. Okay, um, I'm going to almost whiplash myself to get out of Snowy's eyes. Kind of almost <clears throat> lunch. All right, roll a d20. All right, mm, that's 19. You blink out. So when I'm in the ethereal plane, can I just walk on anything? Do I need a floor? Like, if I were to just walk through this wall <laughs> and over to here. I believe you can do that, yeah. Okay, I do. Ooh. All right. Ow. At the very least, I will allow in this instance, because of the nature of the gauntlet, yes. All right, thank you. Why, it's dead! No rules. Um, <laughs> He's gone! It's just like, beep. Uh, as soon as I, yeah, as soon as I, like, whiplash myself, I'm just going to be like, oh, that was weird. Um, hey everybody, it seems like there's a lock on the ground to open up a door. We need to do something that involves conjuration, um, which I'm guessing means finding those gems and pulling those levers to satisfy the lock to get us out. I'm over here now. It's a, Wait, where are you? Like back in. <laughs> you have about six seconds before I'm going to ask you to roll that d20 again. I'm going to open the drawer. <laughs> where are you? Oh, okay. There is a green gem on the inside of that drawer. There's a green gem. There's a green gem! Okay, but what about red and blue? Wait, but Pan 18. already has a you green gem. Out. Pan already has a green gem. Wait, bring that gem to the to the furnace! Bring it to the furnace! I'm not there. <laughs> what? Uh-oh. You but pop back in. <laughs> you pop back into existence. What? Bring what? the gem to the furnace! Do Where what? are you? Where did you go? Why are you doing this? <laughs> I, I jumped just a little bit so they can see oh. my bunny. Ah, oh, is. dang it! I ah. it. I jump on the other side trying to see where why it went. Over here! Cam is just watching the tennis. Yeah, page. I'm just watching the two <laughs> rabbits. Um, Alright, I'll, I'll grab I'll grab the green gem. I don't know. It's a thought. 
bring it to the furnace. He said it had a thing. He didn't try the lever. Uh, oh. Hmm. Oh. That's a good point, Pan. What? I, I think I feel like I can see you, Pan. Uh, I, I'll, I'll put it back. I'll, I'll try the lever before we uh, move anything. Okay. As you try the lever, it locks in, and the green gem on top lights up. All right. Camera, did so, anything change? Not that I can tell. No. What if I tried mine now? And Again? I just. Yeah. Wrench the other green one down. As that happens, the dies in the center lights up green. Ooh. Oh. Okay, that's good. Is that? And all of you here, inside the large metallic door, Pan and Snowball specifically hear this. I lean down to Sn- I lean all seven foot nine of me down to Snowball. <laughs> I say, did you hear that, Snowball? I think that door unlocked. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> um. I am fear. Wait, did you just say it unlocked? I heard a click. I could, I could try it, but I'm worried that. Well, I don't worry to be honest. All right, Let's, everybody, everybody, <laughs> rendezvous at Pan. What's the worst that could happen? What about the? Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. What's the worst? <laughs> I'll have Nico fly okay. across the gap there. I'll just kind Easy of perch enough. at the edge and then just. Yeah, but it's almost like his his, prob- his body length probably takes up almost like the length, but he just kind of goes shunk, like a slinky. <laughs> <laughs> but Camber's gonna have to t- r- run back to uh, the edge of the wall there, kind of brace himself, and he's gonna use uh, he's gonna push himself off the back wall with one foot uh, and get an extra leverage to take a bounding leap and run across. You've got it. Very cool. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna tiptoe my way. <laughs> All right, make a quick acrobatics check for me. Need help, Charlie? Uh, maybe. No, no. Uh, twenty-six. You are very <laughs> sure of your footing as a general rule. Just as a person, you generally know where your toes go. Listers make things campers feeling lucky. Your next d twenty roll will be made with a high variance die. Thank you, Lister. Mate. Well, it's pretty sure he's not strong enough. <laughs> Definitely not strong enough to make this long jump. So I'm gonna instead just crouch low, build up that uh, kinetic energy in my haunches and rabbit hop. Nice. Very cool. You've got it. Oh. Uh, want me to lead the way on this one, Charlie? I don't know, I'm pretty sure on my feet, I think. All right. I don't know, the last one was okay. Camber is gonna attempt to cross that bridge there. Quick acrobatics check for me. And then Charlie's gonna do the same. Yep. Natural 20! Oh. Is that two for two nat That's 20s? Two, yeah. Holy, welcome You've back. You've passed Zephyr's strike enough that you're fairly used to knowing how to move across things like this. There easy enough. 18 for me. Easy, easy enough. I'm gonna keep saying it. Um, Y'all have been rolling real well on those. All right, so it's glowing green. Surely is. Green usually means go. Green does mean go. I mean, some cultures I've heard of. But. Did you try the door? No, I was waiting for everybody, and I, I guess I, why not? <laughs> What's the rest of that happens? We die painfully? If and I would like to it. <laughs> try the door. It opens. What do I see? Beyond, it's a little dark. It actually, okay. you see. <laughs> Omega Scales wants to spin the wheel of chaos on Pan. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm rushing through the door. <laughs> As you do, yep. round and round that wheel's gonna go. Where it's gonna stop, Pan's about to find out. We'll bring the chaos to the next room. The old one, too. Oh, oh that's You nice. get two actions on your next turn. Oh, sweet. Some good As you go through, it appears to be there's a soft green mist beyond this door. Okay. Camber's enthralled. <laughs> green mist, folks. That can only be good, right? <laughs> Do you I, go through? I have lights I can put through, but I don't know if it's gonna help us at all. Do, I guess, <sighs> as I stop kind of seeing the mist and remembering some of the poisons and gases of the Underdark, I would caution in this instance just that we've, it feels too easy. And we haven't explored one of the platforms, and I point to the south, that perhaps there's a, a, perhaps 
we may want to see if we can find other gems and then yeah. open the levers in such a way that... It is a little concerning that uh, only the green ones had to go. Uh, you think it's like a lure? Yeah, I okay. feel like there needs to be find, more than that. What's this, we, yeah. what does it smell like? Can I smell? Sure, give okay. me a quick perception check. Uh, 14? 14? It does not smell acrid in any way. No. It smells like dust and stone and um, a little bit like electrical wire. <laughs> like that ozone smell you okay. get. Um, but okay. no, does not smell poisonous. Uh, give me, you know what, with that perception check, I'll just simply allow this knowledge. It's a very similar green to the light on the floor. Okay. To the one on the dais that we, okay. Um, weird thought. I could be wrong, but what if you have whatever ones you lock in, if you have to lock two of them in, that brings that light color and that sends you one place. So like green sends you someplace, red sends you someplace, blue sends you someplace. Right. It is. Like it's like three different places that you could end up yeah. at. Sure. Well, so we're just picking a place then. Yeah. It might as well be green. I mean, yeah. I'm, I might mean, as well. We have no way of testing this theory unless we actually do it. I mean, hypothetical yeah. question is uh, <laughs> snowball the hold here. into the same laws of breathing and oxygen <laughs> as a normal owl. I get it. You want to yes. sacrifice the owl. I didn't yeah, say that. But I, I'm asking I understand. A it's for the cause. I do have an air bubble. That was Right, but very yeah, well. you walk in with an air bubble, how do we know what's uh No, all of us could be air bubbles. All if we need it, we could oh. walk in and if we start coughing, maybe. If it is consequential, we have, it sounds like we have a contingency plan. However, considering the door's been open for a little while and Nothing is happening. I do not it's think we have. It's out here. I, say, like, I will actively let you know. It is there, it is a light. It does in a gotcha. little bit of a mist. A it does not seem to be seeping past the door. Why again, not? Again, I feel yes. Yeah, for as treacherous as the gauntlet is, this seems like behind the scenes. This is tech stuff. I think this is. Maybe this is how they make all of the different like rooms for us. Maybe Could those be. are the dumb waiters. We keep hearing about. Pack your books. Let's go. Let's go. My We're thinking too much like our missing sanctuary. comrade, Stony Astrid, uh, and Et the Minotaur. We have to. <laughs> <And> the Minotaur. <laughs> As you all shift forward through, you fall instantaneously as if missing a step. Oh, I hate that feeling. Ouch. Oh, ah, ooh. Oh, oh. And you find yourself. On an, uh, falling onto another platform. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh. <laughs> well. Oh. I'm duplicated. Well, this is Ooh. crowded. I think Hold it's tight, everyone. Well, I have to refresh. I say I think it's roll 20. Yeah, I'll just refresh. I, ha I have a thought. Is uh, See? Each one brings you to a different type of area. Is Nico big enough to ride on yet? Uh, I can ride him, but I cannot. we cannot go airborne. Ah, all right. He's like a map. Exactly. Like exactly, yeah. Cause I can I can make two of us fly. It's just another room. Charlie can fly. I can fly. As you're having this talk, I've already run and jumped <laughs> to the next platform. Well there we go. That well, solves that. That solves As your... yeah, the only one you can jump to is the one that's northwest. Yes. Mm -hmm. North yeah, yeah. Okay, well that that <laughs> solves okay. Well, um Snowball can fly on his own. Um Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna touch my uh, touch my neck necklace and cast fly on myself. Okay. I have it for ten minutes, which actually down here I think probably matters. Mm -hmm. I say I will. Generally speaking, I'll kind of keep track of that. Thank you. Yeah, um, and then uh, as I start fluttering up, I'm gonna fly across with Snowball flying right next to me. Okay. Want to push? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can hop a couple more times, but uh, I don't want to get stuck out there. Throw him. Show you. 
I can, I can, I'll, I'll hold, I'll, I'll hold my hands out. You are siblings. <laughs> that I'll actually tracks, to be honest. <laughs> like a basket toss. And I'd like to help, I'll help you out, buddy. All right. On the count of three. <laughs> <laughs> on the other side, like, I hold out my arms. Like, yeah, I'm going to hold no, the cheerleader no. toss. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to steady feel, myself against so the wall. You, a lot what better is your if you're a stone breaker. <laughs> what is your strength score? Not good. <laughs> in, in, in an exact sense, let's just make things Charlie's feeling luckier. Next D20 roll will be made with high variance. In an exact Thank sense, it's eight. Mate. In an exact sense, it is eight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, we're not great at strength, y'all. Oh, um, I'm going to check something here. <laughs> Toss him. Oh, I would have an extra ten reach on that toss. <laughs> <laughs> so you can that, jump across this. It is ten plus your strength score. Yeah, oh, so it is ten. Okay, feet. it's ten plus. Yeah. I so thought yeah, it was you just can. your strength score. No. I was no. like, I can only jump eight. Oh wait, no, yeah, it is. So my apologies. It is up to your strength score. Yeah, so no, so okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't make the jump. Then, yeah. I don't think I would. Um. If you move up to 10 feet, it is your strength score. Right. Let's just make things why it's feeling lucky. Your next roll will be made with high variance. Oh, thank you. Um, this is me. Oh, well, that makes sense. It is, in that case, that check's going to be probably a combined athletics and acrobatics check. <laughs> cool. All right. So if you want to make an athletics check. Yeah. With my high variance time. <laughs> and you will have to make an acrobatics oh, no. check. This is great. Let's know what This is great. Oh. Just get. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. You got robbed. <laughs> that oh, was no. Actually, that. let's see what his score is, and then we'll see what happens cool. here. I mean, it's, it's run, run, run. Could be worse. <laughs> Nineteen. Oh, that's good. Eight. Roll another. <laughs> roll another. a regular die. A regular die. Because this is going to be at advantage. You rolled high enough. Uh, uh cocked or oh no. Well, now you rolled. It was cocked. It rolled off. Yeah. Uh, I'll trust you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Another acrobatics. Mm -hmm. Uh. 14. That's enough. All right. <laughs> Thank you, you do that tumble a little bit. You do land prone. But yes, you are across. Okay. Why? Well, I thought you could fly too. I could have flied. <laughs> I could have. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> All right. Um, Canberra's the only one left over here. And he's going to need to uh, take a run and leap at this one. Camber, do you uh -huh, need uh -huh, assistance? Uh -huh. of any? Could I use my 10 foot reach? 15 with the glaive, but. I say, with this will just be your ten. arms. If you want to try to catch him, essentially. Camber? So I can jump. You consent to being caught? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Okay. So Camber's going to back up to the other side of the dais. Um, move to the edge. Here. Okay. And again, I'm going to use. Um, I'm gonna kind of take a, uh, a C-shaped curving run uh, to get the most momentum I can to... Yeah. Make an athletics check. <laughs> I see that from here. Oh, no. um, I'm going to <laughs> burn three to make that a 11. Okay, I say well, nat ones don't matter on ability checks. Um, it wasn't that <laughs> one, so I, I, yeah, I just exactly. Wanted, yeah, exactly. Oh, you guys have so I'm saying it's not an auto fail. For yeah, what yeah, it's but worth. I still oh, want to make sure you know. I at least reach an my 11? score. Yeah. You may make an athletics check um, to catch him. He's tumbling a little bit. This is going to be a disadvantage. Same each time. Uh, that is a 14 on the die, so a 26 athletics. As you <laughs> jump off the edge, you reach your hands out and you realize that you're hitting flat. Your chest is barely gonna hit and you're scrambling to try and catch the floor when you manage to scoop him back up. Her! Him my back. stomach, like, jumped up to my throat as I feel just how Im immense the, the depth is beneath me. Thanks, buddy. Yes. Give me up. Give me up. Oh. I heave him up. I say, they're not expecting one of us <laughs> in the wreckage, brother. Oh, my God. <sighs> Camera's just going to dust off. You uh, okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <sighs> um, Good effort. Almost bit my tongue, but... Uh, um, how about yeah. we fly our way back? Let's, let's explore sure, sure. And, uh, <laughs> before we do that again. <laughs> Can I walk over uh, as 
uh, Charlie is gasped here, and I want to just, I want to put one of my giant arms on Charlie, and I just want to gently tilt them, if they allow, towards the northeast corner, where there is a giant chest and my eyes are sparkling. <laughs> I'll go alone. Do you see this? I see that. When I say, um... I'll race ya! And I... <laughs> oh, what? Take no! Off. <laughs> Jumping the 15 I, feet to the other side. I immediately fly after. Okay. Given your general strengths and speeds, I imagine you would arrive fairly simultaneously. Okay. Can we roll to see who goes first? <laughs> I think. Rollies? Uh, in this case, because you're flying, uh, I'm going to say this is an arcana check. Oh. Right? And this is going to be an athletics check. Duel of Fates. Ooh, and then ouch. Dash would be taking pets here. 27? 17. I didn't roll well. Uh, <laughs> just, you are fl- speeding across through the air, hands out, and you see this blur of purple fur just <laughs> right in front of you. I like to think I pushed off on them, too, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it took me a second to, like, register that pan was, you know, <laughs> challenging me. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. But uh, yes, there is there is a chest here in this room. That's why they call him the arm of the underdog. <laughs> yeah. And the six and jar. No I got catching jar. up to Dick. <laughs> or you don't. it doesn't even matter. Or maybe you don't. <laughs> um, well, Charlie, what do you make of this? Well, Sam pretty sure this is deadly. The last chest I touched shocked me every time I touched it. Yeah, I was there. Oh, yeah. Wait, were you? Yes. Okay. You didn't listen very well. <laughs> and the, in the ship. Okay, just making sure. It might have happened before. <laughs> um, well, in the ship, I watched you do it. Oh, right. Yeah. So uh, I just get shocked by chests a lot, I guess. Okay, well, let me, can I investigate this chest to see if... By all means, because I know what's going to happen when I try to touch it based yeah. on experience. Absolutely. Yeah, I want to... Um... Doesn't matter either way. It's 18. 18? Um, it does appear to be firmly locked. It mm. is a heavily made chest. It is oak. It, the wood, even from here, you can tell it's probably very thick. Um, there is wrought iron binding across the top and along the sides. There's a heavy lock in the center. The center lock does appear to have some arcane runes on it. Can I look at those rooms even further? <laughs> Absolutely, make an arcana check. Have a good night. Oh wait, I'm supposed to, to use. Care, I okay. forgot I had this. Roll with high variance. Natural twenty. Oh. Yeah. Right. For uh, twenty-nine. Oh. All right. Um, <laughs> looking at it that arcana. way, um, you get the impression that this front lock. Um, it appears very similar to the runes on the floor, that okay. there's probably something that needs to be activated for it to open. It also appears to run the entire length of the chest. This is some pretty heavy abjuration magic. You get the impression the entire chest is protected with it, mm. and you'd also get the impression that hitting it, while probably would not be painful, would be useless. Um, Pam? Yes? You know you mentioned you got shocked last time? It came uh, up organically. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, I think we actually have to maybe pull some more levers to get this one open. The, this it's it's a magical lock. Yes, it sir. won't open with strength, and it's very strong. And you can't just hit it. It that would be not great. Hmm. But, you sound like you know what you're talking about. But. It looks like it's the same type of magic as the like circle was on the ground. So oh. there's a good chance that if we find more of those levers and we can pull them, we can probably figure out a system that pops this open and maybe the rest of the gems will be in here. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I it, that's not the best case scenario. I don't know if you've noticed from my hat, but I do appreciate treasure, so. <laughs> yeah, uh, I like the hat. It's thank very, you. It's very nice. Do you, do you want me to draw it for you? Sure, yeah. <laughs> Did it work? Is it dry? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, well. no! As a matter of fact, it is a not. Cursed soaking. That wet usually. Ass. Can you, 
I usually I deserve work. this. <laughs> I understand. I heard this. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Pam. I've never had my magic fail like that. Don't worry. It's, we're all having I, off days. It's I, stuffy down I here. Don't I don't mind I it. I don't know what I did wrong. I just, it usually, um. Give me a quick arcana trick. <laughs> <laughs> this is so accurate. <laughs> Not one for a 10. Uh, a ten. Just didn't work, did it? <laughs> I'm having an existential crisis. Charlie, we over can here. try again. Don't beat yourself up. It's a very cool hat, and I will continue <laughs> wearing it. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh huh. Let's stop. Oh. Uh, okay. No. Focus. Focus. You've levers. been working on the chest. Um, Let's figure out the chest. Camber, what? Are there any levers? I mean, yeah. could be some. Let's check it. Wait. I'm gonna check the drawer in front of me. Uh, give me a quick investigation check. Yeah. Uh, ooh, that's that's a nat- natural one for a total of zero. <laughs> zero? <laughs> yeah, zero. Um, Why? You're looking at the floor. <laughs> uh, this thing, I say, it's it's confounding. This it's, one. Yeah, it's definitely not this. Whatever this what is. What I will tell you is, it doesn't seem to be the same. Oh, all right. All right. It has a lever, but it doesn't seem to be the same as the last one past that point. It's all kind of knobs and wires to you at this point. You know, have we just considered giving up and uh, jumping in to the gears? <laughs> just saying. I want to see what's in the chest. Look just at the size it. of the chest. It's not that dire, Wyatt, okay? No. It's just not that dire. Just pull it. Just, um. All right, I'll pull it. <laughs> okay. Locks into place. Oh. Wow. Oh. That was easy. Now, having pulled it, um. <laughs> You realize this one does not have a gem or a drawer. Uh, it appears right. to just be a lever. Well, that is that <laughs> explains why I couldn't get the drawer open. That's your problem. That's it. You were looking for a drawer. That's it. <laughs> um, it worked. Okay. Right. Stay put, uh, stay put, little guy. I'm gonna go uh, just conclusively just see if this uh, one appears to the sa- is the same. Probably a good call. Yeah. Um, do I need? Uh, Give me a quick investigation check. Okay. That is a 16. 16? Uh, very similar th- the things that you notice about this. Mm-hmm. This one does not appear to have a drawer to put anything into. It doesn't okay. appear to light up. Um, this one's far more bland. Um, it does seem to have um, something, a tube, um, that seems to have some runes on it that's running into the floor. Mm-hmm. Pretty boring over here. Mm-hmm. Um, GM, does it, did, before we leap, leapt off that first platform, did it seem like we could transverse and retrace our steps backwards through the door that we came from? Ah, no. So we are here, okay. Yes, as a matter of fact, the door was closed behind ah, okay, you, I cool. will say. Just okay. so see. Thank you. I will return to the platform with Wyatt. Did you pull did, it? Did give me pull? a quick dexterity oh. check, actually, on that one. I okay. realize I should. Just give me a Rick to sure, sure. dexterity checks. Um, Realized. Dex check. That is a 18. Perfect. Um, wait. Forgot to pull the lever. <laughs> <laughs> Go back. Check again. Amber! Come on! Uh, that is a 15. More than enough. I will pull the lever. Come. <laughs> it locks in. So yeah, still nothing, folks. All right. Well, we have one more um, roadway here. I would prefer to stay here, to be honest. I'd... I'll fly. Give me? it a shot, Charlie. All right. I'm going to fly on over. Snowball's okay. going to fly on next to me. Uh, go up to the panel. What do I see? Same. Give me a quick investigation check. I'll allow this one to actually be at advantage at this point because everyone else has been telling you everything. Wow, that was almost exact opposite. Uh, a two and a nat 20 for a 29. Wow. 29? Nice. Okay. Uh, this one is far more plain. However, you do notice um, some very similar abjuration and evocation runes running along a tube that heads into the floor. Um, but yeah, other than that, no gem, no drawer. Simply letter. It pulls. 
that any different? Do I notice anything with the chest when they do that? No. No. But it locked in place? Yep. Kick it. Is there a drawer? No, there's no drawer. <laughs> um, can I look at the runes? Sure, give me a quick arcana check. 20 something. Uh, I know math. 26. 26? Okay. Uh, they don't appear to be activated at this time. Uh, you get the impression that this is probably a combinant thing, and it's not at the right combination. Uh, hey everybody. Um, mm. we should have somebody at each one of the, the levers. I think we need to do it in the right order. Hmm. Mm. What order Kinda would that like be? Kind of like a combo lock. Oh, okay. Um... Anything with my arcana checks that I've done that would kind of indicate what the order would be, or is it kind of... No, All right, no you're only looking at one piece of a puzzle. You get the impression. What undoes his lever? Campbell will go back and undo his lever. Give me a quick dexterity check. Make sure you get over just fine. Um, that is a nine? No. <laughs> oh, no. You tumble <gasps> to the side. Mm -hmm. Give me a secondary dexterity check to make sure if you fall off. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm just adding my dex score. Just double checking that I'm making, giving you the right. Uh, this is going to be acrobatics, actually, in this instance. Uh, that is a 17. A 17? You managed to hold on to the side. Give me a quick X flex to pull yourself back up. Uh, 16. Enough. Just pull my foot up between the slot. As you fall, that feeling in your knees when you're looking over a great height intensifies mm -hmm. and your entire body goes completely tense. You manage to pull yourself back up over the top. It's okay, Nico, buddy. I'm okay. Don't you worry. Nico immediately eyes, saucers. Come on over here, buddy. Come with me, okay? He flies over, I'm immediately gonna, starts licking you in the face. I'm gonna hold him a little closer. One arm around his neck the whole time. You're all right, Firinelli. You get the impression you can fall off of this. Mm -hmm. It's a couple of step process to not catch yourself. But you can fall off of this. Do I see anything around in this room, in the space, in the on the box that indicates a number that indicates like an anything? I will say no. Not with the checks that you've done with this. No. Previously, we did middle, camber hit the top, and then you hit the third the one. Yeah. yeah, maybe you so tried... So we did two, one, three, essentially. Yeah. What if, hear me out, everyone, we went one, two, three. Well, yeah, yeah. We could try. Pretty good password. Starts the sequence just fine. Well, so mine's reset right now. I'm reset. Reset mine. Uh, All right. Kung. Walks back into the first position. So here I go. One. Pulls and locks down. I'm gonna assume I'm two. Yep. Pull. <laughs> Nothing happens. And Charlie had pulled. And then three. I do three. Nothing happens. Okay. Hmm. What if we, we do it all at the same time? Worth a shot. Yeah. But okay. Yeah. Reset. Reset. So on three. One, two, three. <laughs> Nothing happens. Okay. Wow. What about? Three, two, one. <laughs> I think there's got to be a hint somewhere around here. Charlie, you you, you pass math class. How many combinations could there be? <laughs> <laughs> Can't be oh too many more. We've done like four already. <laughs> can I go over? Yeah. None of us have. Uh, so as far as I can hear, nobody has investigated these sconces. Are these just simple lighting fixtures against the wall here? Is I say <laughs> I'll allow that a, just a basic look. Yeah. Okay. They appear to simply be sconces. Um, on the inside, they seem very spartan, very bare. Uh, there is some frosted glass on, on the inside. There's a thin filament wire mm -hmm. that seems to be lit with some sort of, you would just gather, I guess, some combination of arcane and electric energy. Okay. Probably a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Sure. Hey, Pan? Yes? Are there any numbers or anything around that um, chest you're by? Can I look for numbers or, or any, things? Or any, any, like, arcana? Like investigation check? Anything that's different than the lock that 13. I saw? Thirteen. Thirteen? There's some runes on there that you, that Charlie pointed out to you that are... They look insane to me. Yeah, say that it is absolutely nothing that you could understand. 
Um, no! Hmm. Alright. Vlad's so. got his notebook out and he's like scribbling. Uh, I think there's only six combinations possible, unless unless there's a combination where one of them isn't pole, but we've tried three of them, mm-hmm. right? Or two of them. Three, three. at least. We tried one, two, two, three. We tried two, one, three. And we tried all at once. Which and we tried all, really all at once. Okay, so we have. So. All right, so that leaves one, three, two, two, three, one, three, one, two, and three, two, one. Want to go in order? Yeah. Yeah, two, three, one. Call Wild out ring choice. Uh, all right, so uh, let's try it. One, two, one, no, one, three, two. So that's a uh, camera. Ka-chung. All Charlie. Right, so I go one and three and two. So, okay, hold on. Let's let's do the order of operations. So let's let's go back to the beginning. Yep. Yeah. Camera pulls his. Ka-chung. Charlie, as you pull yours, pan. The chest opens. Don't pull anymore! The chest is sprung open! What do I see inside? You did it! That's the first try, (laughs) Wyatt! Wow! I'm a genius, apparently. Wow! Good job, Wyatt! I knew you paid attention in some class. I was ready to kick it. (laughs) On the inside, you see three red gems. Oh! Rubies! Oh, yeah, we needed those at the. the Wait, how do we get back there, though? How do we get back there? Why it's gonna walk off of uh, I pocket these the one I'm at. If I look across at the door, did anything uh, change? No. Cool. We want to keep running through this list of combinations, see if we can unlock the door. Um, is there any? Does the is the floor glowing where there's the circle, or is it just is it is it dull? Is it's it your passive perception. Passive? Uh, passive is good. Um, it's fifteen. Fifteen. Dull. Dull. It's dull. So we need to make it glow. I mean, is that a similar dais to the one? Give me a quick Arcana check. I'm pretty far away. Ah, uh, you saw it. Okay. Uh, I believe that's a nine. Nine. Hard to tell. It was definitely raised rock. Okay. Um. Like I'm Dwayne go- Johnson's dad. I'm gonna fly. I don't think that's a pun. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse you? <laughs> Counts for two. Then it could do six in the jar. Um, I am going to fly up and over and across. Okay. Do I see the same rooms as in the last room, or is something different? Uh, give me a quick arcana check at advantage, just because you've been looking at this all day. Uh... 18 plus 9, 27? It seems very similar. Um, You get the impression that um, when you're talking about magic that both summons, that uh, that summons things and moves things, uh, that there's usually a um, starting point and an end point that is described in the magical incantation itself. Um, This seems to have a similar set of data, but it is slightly different. All right. Seems to be a reversed, if anything. Okay. You said any ones or twos or threes? No. What? Um, but this would send us back to where we were at. We just need to figure out how to activate it. And it seems like it's a similar type of idea of activating the last one. Right. Um, Wish we kept better track of the number order we could have added there. Uh, but out of curiosity, can you pull your lever? Mine's still pulled. Yours is still pulled? All right. What about Camber's? His still pulled? Should still be pulled, yeah. All right. They're all three still pulled. They're locked in place. I'll pull mine. Nothing happens. Anything changed on this circle? Nope. And there aren't drawers in these? No. Okay. Are there any, in this circle, are there any, like, um, spots to put a gem or to put anything? No. I think we just got to keep trying combos. I jump over to Wyatt's platform. Okay. Pocket full of gems. <laughs> so what do we have? What got us in? One, Here very what? soon, your lodestone's about to wear off. One just and so three. You know. One and three? Right. But we can keep trying. Can we just try? need somebody down at uh, that third lever. I'm Love about it. to lose flat, but um, I can 
you know what? I have an idea. Um, I'm going to stay over here and uh, Snowball will pull the lever. I can... Yeah. Right. Just just yell out to Snowball, go. And when you say go, Snowball will pull. Okay? Um, and I am going to try to not throw up my lunch this time and pop into Snowball Vision. Okay. You're far more used to it this time. A little disorienting <laughs> still, but not vomit inducing. Getting used to it. And then I, Charlie, eyes white can't hear anything. They're now like basically a statue. <laughs> uh, I'm not actually a genius when it comes to math, but I'm pretty sure if it's a combo that could be just two numbers, that exponentially increases the number of mm -hmm. combinations. Well, let's get rid of the three ones first, maybe. Because yeah, we have right. to go through two before we get to the third number. And uh, probably it doesn't matter what order. It's more about the combination, right, it seems? Uh, I don't know. Potentially, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Let's try, uh, reset all of them. <laughs> Snowy. <laughs> Snowy, <laughs> reset it! <laughs> Snowy latches his feet onto the leather. <laughs> Sweet. It back. Uh, uh, what did we try? So one and three, open the chest, but not the door. Two. Let's try two. <laughs> I'll just pull my Two solo? We've tried solo all of them, I Have think, because we? Right. we got there. What about three and one? Because one and three open the chest, maybe three, or invert, opens the door. All right, reset mine. Try it. Snowy? Can you Is that what the cause is? No. Nothing happens. Camper, reset yours. <laughs> Why well, pulls? I pull mine. Three and two. To say, I, I, I will assume you can give Snowball a command. So. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I can talk telepathically to yeah. Snowball. So do you, does Snowball depress the lever? Yeah. Okay. Nothing yeah. happens. What if we did 312, which we didn't do yet, right? Yeah, we didn't. All right. Reset. Actually, I just realized I can talk telepathically to Snowball without being in Snowball's eyes, and I immediately, <laughs> like, I'll keep my eye on the circle. I'll just tell Snowball when to go. I'm All right. figuring this out still. All right, so Snowy. Snowy, go. All right. Camber. Perturb. And then me. Nothing. Okay. Reset. Reset. Uh -huh. Maybe we just try like three and two together, like three and one. We just did three I mean, and two, so let's try one. Yeah, there's a bunch and we of did we did three and two and we did three and one. So yeah, let's very try specifically two and you one. went snowball camber Wyatt, right? Yes. Snowball camber, yeah. Okay. Okay. But let's try <laughs> camber. Snowball Wyatt? We've already done that. One, three, two? We've already done that. I haven't crossed it off my notebook. That was the first one we tried. But we hadn't had the gems yet. Right. I think we did two, one, yeah. We did one, we had one, three, we got the gems, and then we pulled two, and I was staying over here. Okay. Hmm. We try it anyway, if it's not crossed off. Just to yeah, cross let's it try it again. Let's try it. <laughs> I'm looking over his notepad right now <laughs> on the platform. What do you think, man? Yeah. <laughs> one through two. Okay. All right, so camber. Shoot. Camber. Snowball. Snowball. Me. No. <laughs> I told you we tried it, it already. We got it. Right, we don't need I told you so, Charlie. <laughs> it's a sibling's right to do I told you so. You told you told Camber to throw me. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a good idea. Mm -hmm. um, nope. No idea. Reset. Bad idea. <laughs> reset. Right, reset. Yeah. Um, Have we tried two, three, one? Nope. That's next. So, I pull mine. Okay. Then snowball. Snowball. As that happens. Oh. There we go. You hear the locks in the door begin to whirl. And the circle lights up blue. Hey, it worked! Beyond which the door opens. And you see a soft blue miss. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Come back over. It worked all. I'm. Wait. You yeah. want to? I'd rather you throw me the camera <laughs> again. <laughs> Can I jump with him? How much do you weigh? Uh, like thirty pounds. I think more than. Is it definitely weigh more than thirty definitely pounds? More, I think about a hundred. Yeah, probably oh. somewhere in the ninety to one hundred pound yeah. range. I mean, yeah, with my okay. stuff, probably a hundred. Well, then yeah, I'd like to throw him. I guess. 
Amber is kind of like uh, nervously kind of standing on the edge there. I kind of look down at Nico. I'll be like, "Hey, buddy, um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I could use a little bit of help getting across. Ooh. So just um, when you glide over, can you just like hang your tail down kind of low, and I'll just use you as like a steadying point, please." I hope that doesn't hurt your pride too much. <laughs> Nico flies up above you and dangles his legs and his tail below and actually latches onto your shoulders a little bit. Ooh, this is kind of... Okay. Here we go! <laughs> nah, nah. I'll allow this at advantage. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this is athletics. Uh, acrobatics. Uh, okay, that is a fourteen. Fourteen enough. Thirteen. Yeah, same. Okay, uh, we will meander our way back across the bridge. Okay. Yep. Can I realize my computer's about to die? What the heck? Oh, oh, oh. You. Okay. Uh, Snowball's gonna fly over to me. Tell him to come over. Okay. I'm gonna just try to like back up as far into the corner to give them as much room as possible for their running legs. Okay. <laughs> if your computer dies, uh, we'll uh, we'll figure it out. Um. Are you plugged into the main jack? Worry about it later. I only need ten feet, but we're almost damaged. For hucking this one, I'll <laughs> huck them first. Okay. Is your arms just like long enough to just set me down on the other side? Couldn't I though? Not quite. No, Just out of range, no. They're gonna be a bit of hugging. All right, make an athletics check. <laughs> yes. That is a 30. A 30? You may make an acrobatics <laughs> check at advantage. <laughs> to not, to like, not go hit the wall. <laughs> uh, more importantly, actually the hit the wall. <laughs> Uh, add advantage, you say? Yes. All right. Ho! Oh, oh. Ho! <laughs> oh, boy. Um, I'm going to use a point of adrenaline. To You're going to get there. An 11. I rolled a 1 and a 6. As Pan chucks Wyatt across the way, all of you see Wyatt hanging in midair for a second. His paws touch the floor before he falls into the void. Oh, no. <laughs> uh -oh. Can I try to catch him before he falls? Make a quick ac uh, athletics check. Ooh. <laughs> Acrobatics? No. Uh, athletics? Yeah. Ah, uh, that's a 12. You do not get there in time. Oh, oh. shit. What? I, did I spike him? <laughs> I was going for a long pass. <laughs> He went real long. He <laughs> went real long. He just simply could not land. Oh. God. It's a small target. I feel terrible. <laughs> oh, no. We'll deal with that in a minute. <laughs> Pan uh, my guy. I didn't. I thought it was a good throw. What? It was a great throw. It's the easy way out. <laughs> no. Stop. Well, I guess we'll he see them. He has disappeared into a level of darkness and mist. So, so like, hard. went careening past me, past all of the, like, what, into, like, nothingness? Into nothing. Oh, no. I really <laughs> thought that they were open. I thought that was gonna be a touchdown. God. I'm... I'm lying to my feet. I'm really bad at catching. It's not your fault. That wasn't... I didn't... <laughs> Let's just, for why it's, we've come this far, let us go now. I, and I want to jump across. Okay. Let's go and use these blood rubies to <laughs> achieve whatever is in the other room. Okay. What? It's Isri's problem now. We'll see him soon. All right. I don't, don't, sorry, sorry, that was insensitive on my end, I, but they've been here before. Camber, what are you doing? Um, Camber is, 
assessing the distance, remembering the first time. And he's going to look over at Nico again. All right, buddy. Mm-hmm. We did it once. Mm-hmm. But I need you to hold on real tight this time. Mm-hmm. His claws dig in. A li- not so much to be painful, but you can tell they are there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All the way back, buddy. All the way back. Mm-hmm. We're gonna go. All, we're gonna get a huge re- lead up. Does this mid-air shuffle? Oh, are you to um... and like a hang glider trying to move with an organic hang glider. <laughs> He's gonna have to drop and let me let fly at some point to make this double landing, unless he can like airmail me. Give so. me an athletics check for Nico. Okay, uh, for Nico, athletics is strength based. Correct. Okay. So that is going to be a four. You feel his claws slip. He is not helping you in this moment. Uh Uh-huh. Give me uh, an athletics check at disadvantage. Of my own. Uh, That is an eight. An eight? Can I attempt to grab as this is happening? Give me an athletics check. I see that too. Oh my God. So you know. Is that cocked from here? <laughs> no. That's a nat one. Oh. For a 13. Oh. Very similarly, you all see Camber's fingers slip off the side and he disappears into the darkness. I just think I'm just like sunk down on the ground staring off in the direction that very tellingly, I will let you know that Nico is still here. Okay. Uh, Not dead. Nico, get. Mm. Uh, mm. Come. Can you retrieve your? Yeah. Are they yeah. just? Can yeah. you sense him? He I don't you speak over Nico. The edge. His tail, his ears drooping, his tail bursts forlornly wagging. Hey, right. Nico, Nick, come with us. We'll we'll bring you to your papa soon. Animal handling. <laughs> yeah. so many Good checks. luck. So many checks. <laughs> Seven. Nico is forlornly focused, looking down. I've been on the record as not an animal guy outside of Calamity. <laughs> so. uh, okay, so Nico's still alive, which means Camera's still alive, because does Nico poop when Camera, I don't know what happens. Cause like, but snowball stays around if I poof. So like, that's not really good indicate. I don't. <laughs> Give me a quick history. Check. Calm down and stop saying poof. Um, <laughs> Give me a quick history. We have check. a mission to complete. Nineteen. Nineteen. Nico disappears when Cambridge passes. Okay. So their existence seems tied. Okay. So Nico's different from Snowball. Snowball stays if I if I poof. So Nico poofs with camera poofs with me. Camber still falling into the abyss with what? Charlie! What? what? We can't help them now, but if we complete what we've come here to do, maybe we can. And at the moment, our mission is to get whatever these gems are that those two gave their lives to the cause for and use them in the room we just opened. You just see my like bottom lip start quivering. <laughs> I take a deep breath. (laughs) I understand. Uh, But for the record, your brother's first choice was us fireballing ourselves. (laughs) I want you to remember that. That was actually my first choice. Oh, that's right. But (laughs) Wyatt was on board. (laughs) So, I believe Wyatt knew what they were getting into here, and... We have been through so much in which we should be dead, but we will continue to persevere. And what we need to do now is understand what it is that we can achieve by completing this. Okay, yeah. And as that happens, Omega Scales wants to spin the Wheel of Chaos on Charlie. (laughs) 
<laughs> oh boy. Okay, so as you are debating what to do, round and round that was about to go. Or it's about to stop. We're about to find out. Charlie! Middle of existential crisis. So buried treasure. <laughs> <laughs> well, this should be easy. Look at that! Somewhere on the map. There's a silver lining. Treasure. <laughs> Well, ranting in this uh, two by eight <laughs> platform, yeah. can I take a step to my right? And yes. Be like, you know, Charlie, I've been on a number of assignments where uh, comrades I've known have given their lives, and never in a situation like this. Do I find any gold as I step there? <laughs> no. Okay. I continue up to the north, and I take another step, and I say, Do me a favor, move yourself. To sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> step here. And then I step here near this thing. As that happens. <laughs> Pan starts monologuing just to look for treasure. A pearl. Have you seen my hat? Amazing. Amazing. I find a pearl? You find a pearl. Oh! I bend down and pick up Charlie! Silver lining. This is cool. I don't even look. I pocket this with the rubies. All right. I guess you're right, though. Well, we do have to keep going on. Why would we want the, uh... Yes, exactly. It better be the same as in the gauntlet where if you die, you pop back. Because if he's just wandering off into the abyss for the rest of his little funny life, I will blame you. That's fair. <laughs> and if that's the case, I will go down there personally and find both of them. I'm no stranger to the abyss. I have been into and out of the abyss, as it were. Fair. I have not. I pat Charlie on the back and I said, now let us go and figure out these fucking rubies that we lost two and a half comrades for. Because I'm assuming Chamber's dragon dog isn't going to join us. <laughs> he seems to be continuing to stare down. I'm just gonna wipe the tears from my eyes and like wipe my nose on my fur. My ears kind of trying to make them less droopy. Okay, I can do this. Wait, what do you mean Nico's not joining? Well, no. yeah, that's fine. You can try if you, if you want to try to. I'm not good with animals. Can I can I pick up the pearl and be like Nico? Fetch! <laughs> and kind of try to like throw it through the door and try to get their attention. Make another animal handling. This track. is gonna go just as good, I can tell. Oh, 13? Nico's ears perk up. Mm -hmm. uh. You seem to be paying attention to you at least at that point. Get, let's get the pearl! And I kind of lob it into the door, not that it rolls over, but just like. So as that happens, it actually vanishes completely. Get the impression it's probably been taken to Gauntlet Treasury, as all treasures of the Gauntlet do. Okay, but Nico. But he is paying attention to you. Okay, point. let's go get that together, Nico. Come yeah, on. Another <laughs> one. I'll allow this one an advantage because oh you didn't did the last one. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> that is two nat twenties. Whoa! Okay. Okay. As that we happens, really Nico. Those moments. His little. His little ears drooping. He flies over sort of forlornly to you and lands at around hip height and just puts his head, just forehead first, into your hip, just leans it in. I pat him on the side and I say, All right, there. There have been several missions where my comrades have given their lives for the cause. I continue to do the same speech I had just <laughs> given to Charlie a moment ago, as I want to guide Nico through the door. Nico goes with you. Okay. Cool. I go behind with Snowball, and like right before I step through, I look back towards just to see if I see little bunny ears anywhere, and then go back and go through. As you go through the door, you feel yourself again with that very same sensation of a foot missing a stair. And as that happens, Poor 
gonna take a quick break, everyone. <laughs> oh, real fast. Uh, you know what? Ignore that. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, we've got measurement happening. We'll figure that out later. Um, <laughs> thank you all so much for being here. We're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna take a quick intermission, stretch our legs, get a little bit of water, but don't go anywhere because what is that? We've got a giveaway to do. Oh my god. <gasps> We've got a Cantrip Candles giveaway to do. It's a $15 coupon code international to our viewers. Uh, we do have a code word that you're going to need to type into chat to get that to roll. The code word tonight is going to be exclamation point grinder. That's right, everybody. Exclamation point grinder. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. I was thinking yeah. meat. <laughs> uh. Be sure to wait for the Nightbot tells you you can enter it. Be sure to enter it only once you will be disqualified. You folks have a good break. We'll see you in a few minutes.
Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the Gauntlet, Audience Interactive, Dungeons and Dragons, Combat Chaos, where our adventurers are continuing in their never-ending quest to defeat every monster of the multiverse and also make long jumps. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here with us. Synthix, welcome on in. Thank you so much for being here tonight. And Witch King 109, congratulations. Send us a DM oh. on the uh, We'll get you that well code deserved. right away. As we continue back into the gauntlet, where we left off. Two of our adventurers, having survived, saw weirdly are walking through a magical door beneath the labyrinth itself. And as you do, you return to this room. And as you look about, you do notice that Camber and Wyatt are here. Oh. Wyatt, Camber, as you fell through the darkness, there was this bizarre relation with time. As you looked down at your hands, which is about as far as you could see, there were moments where they went completely smooth, where your fur went into a spotted form that you remember from when you were a child, mm. to completely white, to shriveled and old. And for a moment you felt infinitely long, and then infinitely small, as you spiraled, and then there was a 
as you reappeared here, just as your friends walked through the door. I literally run over to Wyatt and rush him in the biggest hug. You are both down half of your hit points. Oh! And you have one point of exhaustion. Great. Okay. Welcome in, Sega JC. Yeah, I said that'd be Thank okay, so much, Charlie. Happy. Oh, I thought we lost you. Yeah, me Nico, too. Nico, um. Nico, mm-hmm. barrel hits you straight hey. in the chest. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I know. Weird. 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 Oh, I haven't felt that since we left Strixhaven. Oh, jeez. So, um, sorry about pitching you and it going poorly. I mean, look, it was a good throw. <laughs> it was a good throw! Give me that. It's the platform's fault. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, well, now that you're back, we have the three red gems. We're back where we started. We want to put them in each of the ones that have red gems, but we only saw one lever one that had a gem, so maybe the down south one is also red. Remember, the, f- the first room has a red one, the furnace had red, uh-huh. and then we didn't go to the room below us. But they mentioned that the furnace has a spot to put a thing in, perhaps. It had like a... Yeah, but we have three. Yes, you guys are talking we... awful loud. Can we just Sorry, take it down been... a notch? I don't know about you, Camber, but I feel just heavy. I mean, I just have... It's it's uh, it was it wasn't rough, but just well, let's just go one step at a time. There is still one spot in this place. I think I see down that way that we haven't checked out yet. So we right. gotta. That's what I was let's saying. Let's get the lay of the land for everything that we got. So we got. That, that's what I was we trying had, to say. We had two greens, and now let's find another red one. Cause we've only found one so far. Yeah, we have three red gems. Okay. And let's not throw anybody. <laughs> no, we keep our feet on the ground. All right. Um. I will say, your lodestone has firmly worn. Oh, yeah, I assume. Um, Pam? Yes? Do you mind if I, um, I take um, two of the red gems and I have an idea? I'm all ears, and I hold out two of them. I will also let you know I realized this happened as you walked in. As the door, you hear some whirs and clicks. And as that happens... The green light on the floor disappears, mm-hmm. and you hear some clicks in the distance. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go across this one gingerly, and Snowball's gonna come with me, and I'm gonna make my way to the the first red one we came across. Any okay. Rolled uh, acrobatics. Oh, uh, yes. Where are you trying to go? I made my way across. Oh, yeah. The, that's an acrobatics. Yep. Yeah. So that first acrobatics check is a 21. Easy enough. Caleb Love, thank you so much hey. for those thousand hey. biddies. Thank oh, you. my gosh. Appreciate it. Yeah. So, so thank you so much. Have a lovely night. Oh, my gosh. That means the whole world. Thank you. Um, in. And then I'm going to make my way across the second one to get to the first the first red one that we All right, crossed. make another uh, acrobatics check. Another 21. Easy enough. Nice. Um, yeah, and then I want to put the red one of the red gems in the drawer and pull the lever. Okay. It locks into place red light on top lights up all right well i got this one going so then we have one other one that was we have three three gems total i I think the other one's for the furnace i was going to make my way up there next but do you want to find the other lever first we have a region to the south i think that we have right yeah we haven't seen that one cameron you want to fly i don't want to fall again yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty helpful. All right, we got about 10 minutes. I My think, knees when, are pretty uh, weak right now. Wyatt flips through his notebook and says, uh, I think it's time for you and I to take to the skies as I cast fly with a twin spell. Okay. As both of you feel your feet raise up off of the floor. Does it look cool? <laughs> <laughs> I think it looks cool. 
Uh, all right, uh, uh, Pan, can I take one of those uh, gems? I have the last oh one here. Oh my gosh. Uh, take it. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Do sit, oh, I, 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 you, y'all have been here before and I always, I, I wanna make sure I'm getting this right because it's a fun name. Um, Dunces and Detation. Oh, nice. it's a, I know it's a good Detention. pun. Detention. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dunces and Detention. Or Wordsmith. <laughs> Thank you for helping me with the pun. <laughs> that doesn't Dunces count. Dunces and Detention, this is so good. <laughs> I love this so much. It looks like y'all played some D&D. &D. Nerd Leader JDN, thank hey. you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Tell, Welcome on Give in. yourself some self-promo in chat. Tell us a little bit more about what you were up to. Tell us how your campaign's going, how your session went. Y'all go check out Dunces and Detention. I do love this name. Um, <laughs> and welcome to the Adventures Pack. Tonight is the Gauntlet Audience Interactive Dungeons and Dragons Normally Combat Chaos. Uh, tonight, however, we are stuck in a puzzle room of mm. what is known as the Labyrinth. But yeah, thank you so much for trusting us with your community. And if you're new here, it does have some unique rules, so be sure to hit exclamation point rules to learn a little bit more. But again, thank you so much. Oh, and Saga JPG, thank you so much for the follow too. Thank you. thank you. We're so happy to have you. Thank you so much from the bottom of our heart. Really, that does mean the whole world. Take care. Yeah, have fun. Okay. All right. So I'm taking the the uh, crystal from Pan, and I'm just gonna glide my way across the bridge to the south. Okay. Make it happen. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, just gonna look around for the lever that I'm hoping is here. Okay, there is indeed a lever, and it does indeed have a red gem. All right. Well, I've done this once before with the green, so I'm gonna try the same thing. Pop the red gem in the drawer, pull the lever. Works just fine. Right. Lights up on top. Anything happen? Nothing I can see. Did you pull yours? Yeah, I pulled mine. I have the. I, th I think we need to put one in the furnace. As that happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, the floor so lights red. So the floor is red now, folks. I think this is the, the way we go. This would be the third room that we would have gone into, counting this one that had. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, rendezvous? Because we found green gems, yes. Uh -huh. The green gems were here. The green gems were here when we got here. Uh-huh. And we found red in the blue room, so now we have the... No, in the... In the green room. Yeah. So now we have the red room. To find Let's the blue. Let's just go mm -hmm. into the room. As the door opens, there is a slight red mist just yeah, beyond. All right. We still have one red gem, right? Yeah, we do. The... I have an idea. Uh, Gauntlet Master, can I reach down to this green lever and see if I can get that drawer open to take the green gem with us? You certainly could, and you certainly can. All right, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that green sure, gem. Sure. Should we grab the other one just in case? I don't know if we'll need it. Um, I think maybe we just keep one of each. All right, we got one of each. Yeah. All right. A red and a green so far. Great. Yeah, that's fine with me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna. I gotta make my way across. Give me two dexterity or two acrobatics checks in this instance. Um, that's an eighteen. Okay, first one's fine. Can I glide over to Charlie and can I just hold their paw away? Yeah, if you make the second one an advantage. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> While I have this fly, I want to be like <laughs> fairy godmother. Smart. Do I have adrenaline surges? You oh. do. You have three. Well, two threes. Um, which would be an eleven. I have three. You have three. Um, I'm going to use two of them make it 15. That's enough. Okay. Your feet do slip a little bit across the side. I'm you managed to back. help her. I got you, Charlie. Catch, or you I, can help them. I have more Catch dust. their hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to. Well, shall we? Yeah, let's uh, continue this nightmare. Yeah. Just kidding. This is It's fine. That all was, that part was of the easy. assignment. That was super easy. Green light, and I stepped light. through. As you do. Remember when you said that green light? <laughs> that dizzying feeling of falling forward. How many minutes did we spend in there? You've got about seven minutes left. Okay. Right. You figured that out pretty fast. Ugh. Quick work. <laughs> mm -hmm. let's, oh. let's do it again. Okay, so we have a floor 
in front of us that has the same thing that, and then there's a lever on the left side of the that is correct room um i'm gonna go look at it see if it's any different than anything we've done in previous ones i would like to stay on this square as having seen <laughs> a ladder of this degree having you all flying I am not confident in my own abilities to cross this. Uh, I would normally just chop the bridge and leave the other side to figure things out for it. A normal mission for me. That's fair. Uh, give me a quick investigation check. Oh, oh my gosh, Magic RPG, thank you so much for the raid. Hey, oh my everyone. gosh, so good to have you. Thank Welcome. you so much for trusting us with your community. Ah. <laughs> Trusting us with your community. Uh, this is the Gauntlet. I interact with Dungeons and Dragons, but can we get a shout out for Magi RPG? What were you up to? Looks like you were doing some D and D too. Oh my Heck gosh, yeah. more Love raiders! Yeah. Hey, uh, Please tell us a little bit more. Give yourself some that sweet, sweet self promo in chat. Tell us what you were up to. Tell us how your campaign was going. Tell us how your session was going. Y'all go check out Magi RPG. It's so, again, so kind of you to trust us with your community that I know that's a whole thing. It means the whole world. Clamoring Sir Dora Tavern, Raiders twice. Um, but yeah, if you need to go, obviously take care of yourself. If you're new coming in here, this is the Gauntlet, Audience Interactive Dungeons and Dragons, usually combat chaos. Uh, right now we're doing some puzzles in the labyrinth. We're so happy to have you. Combat oh, chaos in. and confusion. <laughs> <laughs> that means traumatizing us. That's, that's what DMs do. <laughs> that's true. Um, um, I, I got an 18 for my investigation. An 18? It looks very similar to the ones in the green room. They don't have a drawer. They have no gems on them. They are switches. All right. Seems like a puzzle switch thing, just like we did last time. Can you still fly? No. Can you fly again? Um, or we could hold your hand as we cross the bridge together. I have to, uh, let me just think. Yeah, I can do it. I can fly again. All right, okay. yeah. Three of us, we all fly out. Perrin, you stay here. Okay, disperse. Yeah. All right. All right. I feel comfortable with that. As you feel gravity shift underneath your feet and you float up into the air. All right, 10 minute flat. Let's do it. Um, each one of us want to take a direction? Yeah, well, it just starts going off. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll, go go platform. I'll go Three. the other direction. I'll go. I'll man this one. Oh, hey, I found a chest. <sighs> you do indeed. I got a lever. I got a lever over here. I have one too. Oh, no, that's four. <laughs> so I guess. Why well, start scribbling in his notebook? <laughs> <laughs> I said, Wyatt, get your notebook ready. Uh, I would say that starting with me and going clockwise north. East, south, west is one, two, three, four. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, sounds yeah. good. Okay. That logic. Yeah, I like it. Now, I would like to open with the most common every time. <laughs> and easiest password, which is one, two, three, four. So we just go, I'll start, <laughs> Wyatt, Camber, Charlie. All right. I, I just want to point out, last time it was only two of the three Levers that need okay. to be pulled for the combo, so there's a chance it's only three of the four this time. That could be. Very possible. If we're going I'm no, logic. I'm, what? You have roughly 10,000 combinations <laughs> to write. I'm no math magician, so, like, but this is going to be a lot as harder. As we do it. <laughs> a lot harder. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Let's, let's not we, go one, two, three, four. I, yep, I can also right. look and see if the chest has any more explanation. Sure. See if it looks like there's anything on it that possibly can give me arcane Clocks or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> can give me the code. Sure. Make an investigation check or an arcana check. Quick like bunnies. Mm -hmm. Arcana, I guess. Uh, none of my dice like me this moment. Try the new one. Natural 20 for uh, yes. 30? That's a, 30? That's a No, 29. You know the combination. <laughs> and that 20 for 29. It's unlocked! <laughs> <laughs> you do not. Uh, you do notice, however, that this one does seem to have some more information on it because it does seem to be receiving more information. Uh, so you do see that there is more writing on this one. Um, but no, you do not get the impression you can reverse hack the code. <laughs> but do I get the impression that it would be three of the levers instead of two of the levers like last time? With that high? 
With a natural 20? Um, For 20? <laughs> what I will say, um, there's a lot of information on this one. A lot of information on this one. Um, I will I'm say, sit down you think it's me. probably more than two. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so it's definitely more than two levers. I'm going to go with probably three, potentially all four, but probably three. Okay. Well, let's just start pulling, I guess. I pull one. It's not giving me orders. I pull two. Three. Charlie, pull four. Four. The chest pops in. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding! Yeah. 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 Really? <laughs> Someone call Rick Moranis. <laughs> I literally like, am staring at the chest like, well, that was easy. Did? We got it! You. Really? <laughs> yeah, it opened. Good job, everybody. All right, get it quick. Let's go. Really phoned in the, in the third chest. <laughs> there are three blue gems. Let's go. Oh my god. I, I pull out the three blue gems. And be like, I got three blues. Oh wait, wait. We it opened. The, we gotta get the door yeah, open. Yeah, it open. We're not done. Why? Flies back. To <laughs> wait, hold on, Pan. Is the is the floor lit up or no? Do I see the floor lit? No, up? floor's not lit. Try four, three, two, one. Okay, turn it off. 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 <laughs> okay. So, off. so Charlie is four, right? Charlie yeah. is four. Yeah. Okay. And Camber's three. Okay, okay. I've got All your right. order of operations here now. <laughs> All right, Charlie goes first. Okay. And then Camber. Okay. And then why? Okay. And then Pat. Chukung. They all snap back. No. Oh. Okay. That was um, too easy. That was too easy. Let's try. Aw, Instinct1456, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. Welcome on in. So Wait, so if we go in the exact circle. opposite direction, we, we go one, four, three, two. That could. Yeah. yeah. Let's try. All right, Pan, you're first. Um, I would like to hold mine. We try doing yours first. Mine? mine. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're twins. <laughs> Wyatt, do yours, and then Charlie, you do yours. Two and four? Two and four. All right. Yeah. I pull mine. I pull mine. And then Kim. Mm -hmm. Floor lights on. Hey! hey, hey, hey. How do you know? We'll Kay. talk later. I have a... <laughs> you have yes. an intuitive mind there, my friend. <laughs> it's that wet hat. <laughs> I gave you spider. I don't. I have an... Eight in intelligence. I've heard people oh. say that their brains are like sponges, but literally, <laughs> it seems to be working. Um, come over here. Come on, let's let's. All right, let's go. Let's go. Lights up blue. <laughs> Ali, Ali, oxen free. I will explain later, and yes, we will talk. <laughs> there was a line of reasoning behind it. <laughs> I believe. <Clearly. laughs> As you continue through the door. find yourself back. back. And as that happens, as you land here, you hear some mechanical whirring as the floor fades to dark. All right, so I have three blue gems. We only know of the one middle one for the blue lever. Right. Um, pretty light on my feet. You want me to go across? Actually, I'm flying. Oh, my all apologies. Flying. I mixed mm -hmm. that up. It is two blue, ge blue gems. My deepest apologies, y'all. Two blues. Okay. Two right blues. and down slightly wrong. That is on me. Two okay. blues. It's all good. So total now we have two greens, three reds, and two blues. Yeah. All right. But we have, like, on our bodies, but one red, two blues, and one green. We have enough to, because there's a green to the north, there's a red to the south, a red to the southwest, and the middle is blue. blue. So we could use all of them and fill every spot. We already yeah. are. Okay, so that's yeah. what we're gonna do. Let's just yeah. get let's get the blue one in the blue. Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, already first. I'm already flying. Okay, everyone's over flying there off, and I'll. Right. I, guess right. I'll I will say those flight spells are a little bit more than halfway through. Right. Folks, okay. all right. Um, flying over. I can hop over and hit a green one if we want. And the putting um, the blue in and. Okay. Up. Give me a green, I'll get one to the north here. I'll get this spot. That one still has its gem in, you just gotta oh, okay. pull the lever, I think. Then I'll hop over. Wyatt slides his green back in the, the one he's next to. Okay. Um, I, I have the other 
extras, I'm gonna fly over across this way. Okay. And I wanna see this machine that uh, my brother was talking about earlier. Okay. That, um, you said it has a drawer or something? It does, it appears to have a little drawer that's not dissimilar to the ones on the levers that you were looking at earlier. This one does appear to have some ash and charcoal along the sides of it. I'm gonna put the blue and red in. I don't have another green. Wait, did we did Wait. we put them in the? There's still a red one down. We have our southernmost red. It's already been. It's already. It has. The has one it way down there? Yeah, I did that one. Oh, okay. We put a red in there. Yeah, I did, did it we last put a red time. In there? I did it last yeah, time. Yeah, that is. That's how we got through the door. That's how we got oh, through okay, the door. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's a red in there already. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Then what, what, what if we pull the levers? I guess. Yeah. So you've put a red and blue in there. Yeah, I, I was going to put the spares in this thing. If we have spares, but we should pull all the things as well. They first. both fit in there. Okay. okay, so I'm putting the spares in there. The red one down south, unless it popped up after we left, they were pulled before. They are still pulled. As you yeah. put these two gems in, the red and the blue light up. And the green's not lit up, right? So we need a green. We need another green gem. All right. Well, I was going to take his out of the drawer here, and then I'm going to fly over to my sibling okay. with the green gem. Put it in. As you notice, all of the gems crack and catch on fire. Well, we broke Whoa. it. We broke it. How's it going? The it's engine bad. inside, you see something. Ding! Oh. As that happens. We're like CR5. (laughs) This is too dense. (laughs) The circle lights up blue. Oh! It's uh it's blue again, folks! Back to the I wanna hop over. Back to the thing. Alright. Alright! Flying. You're Flying all still back. flying? Okay, good. Yeah. I don't have to try For to like, catch any of you. Real quick history check on that camber, actually. Sure. Uh, six. It's more than enough, though. Uh, DC real low. Last time it lit up red. Hmm. It hasn't lit blue yet. Yeah, okay. It hasn't been blue. No, we've no, had green, green and red. And red. Mm. You're right. All right. Okay, okay, okay. One more. Let's go. Let's go. And I head through. Yeah, head As through. all of you head through the door. Oh. Oh, this is different. Um, you instead okay. find yourself in a very small room. Okay. Is that a statue? Yes. What is all of this? Hmm. This is. What? Which version of the statue do we see? The statue is whole. Oh, is this a statue we've seen everywhere else? The statue is whole uh-huh. and angelic. You see the same, and you've done enough investigation checks on this in the past before. Mm-hmm. This is a angel holding a sword. It seems to be female. She's holding a sword in front of her. She is wearing a blindfold. Uh, well. Didn't we see the broken version of this in the like scary dark place? Yeah. Hmm. We've seen it a couple times. What is this? Red circle and wooden gate beyond? Are you making a perception or investigation? I would like to investigate. Okay. Uh, six? six. No, not even. No, six. Uh, it's a door and a red circle on the floor. You know it. <laughs> I know it! Oh, God. And as that happens, <laughs> Annabelle wants to spin the wheel of cam- chaos on camber. Okay. Round and round, this wheel's gonna go. Charades. <laughs> uh, we're gonna just set a timer. You're a fairly because, communicative like, guy. <laughs> turn, yes. Turns don't work the same way here, so for the next like minute, we're gonna say you have to communicate <laughs> only in charades. If I, I think he just said, "Hey, I'm walking now. here." <laughs> if I can cast armor of Agathus. <laughs> You can. That was really good. Thank you. Yeah, that was actually like that. impressive. Good. Yep. Watch you. Yep. 
Look at that statue. statue. Look at the angel. angel Fly. Flying. You. I'm thinking. You can fly. Oh, a crown. Halo? Halo? Put a halo on. Oh, put the blindfold on? No. Put the halo over the eyes? It's got a blindfold. Yeah. Why'd you lose your voice, Camber? <laughs> Patience. His heart? Heartbeat. Beat. Oh, hi. Make the blindfold a halo? Devil? No. <laughs> devil? The angel is a devil. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, that's for sure. So bad. Okay. Heartbeat. You can use your voice again. <laughs> That was an <laughs> exercise I can't remember. <laughs> what happened? This is no time for a performance. There's a lot to process. This is all coming back so fast. When y'all went here, we were met with Brent. We met Brennis. And we found out from a very, very smart, clever friend. We know who this is now. Uh who? -oh. <sighs> they were, um, oh god, uh, Mithany. They were this cleric of war and and conquest. You would you would have oh. dug them. You would have loved them. Um, Their name is Mithany. Mithany. Okay. It was spelled weird. Mithany. Hold on. Mithany. Myth. Anyway, um, they took one look at the statue in this form, and they told us that it was they're named Zariel. Zariel. Yeah. All and right. they. Um, God, I, it was, I was able to put the pieces together because you learn all sorts of things studying different religions in the barracks and long, long, long ago, I'm talking maybe millennia. I could be wrong on that, but. Say, give me a quick religion, yeah. religion check on this. Uh-huh. And I'll tell you what exactly you know. Because I remember we talked about this a little bit last time and I'll tell you exactly I'm what trying you to know. relate what I was, what we were briefly able to discuss yeah, as well. Yeah, and yeah, no one yeah. else there. Uh, religion, <laughs> where we got? Where'd it go? Yeah. Uh, say, so yeah, yeah. Uh, that is a 19. 19? Okay. Uh, what I will say, from what you remember last time and from what she told you about this, um, what you do know is that Zariel is, um, is, uh, an archdemon, an archdevil. Very specifically, not an archdemon, an archdevil. Um, and that she was angelic and she no longer is. And it doesn't really track that it, that this is Zariel because this is very clearly an angelic figure. But alternatively, <coughs> you you know that that's kind of how that went. So you're kind of connecting some dots here with that. Um, but that is that is about as far as you know yeah. history of her. For sure. Um, but yes, you do know that she's a creature of conquest and of war. Oh. Mm. So whatever. Connection Brennis has to this Zariel character, they somehow know. I think we, I, I'm speculating they knew them before their transformation, or I'm just making just grasping at straws. But this is a freaking. There's not many statues like this of Zariel before they fall. I'm just a uh, um, question. Yeah, Sorry. Lots of questions. Uh, just want a little clarification. This is a statue, right? It's not a arch devil that's going to come to life? It's just a statue? As far as I know, it's a statue. Great, okay, just one my clarification. When you do click on it, it is just a statue. <laughs> Old marble, a statue. Um, so uh, an uh, angel that's uh -huh. fallen became a devil. Uh -huh. Just uh, making some connections here. A little girl that turns into a demon. Mm -hmm. we're, we're sure Brennis is not this area. Yeah, we don't. Not the same we person. don't believe so, based on the last conversation. And the Sphinx was able to give us some sort of clues as to what to look for when we talk to Brennis. Um, Brennis also told us the last time we spoke to her that the statue doesn't want us to know who they are. Huh. Oh um, well. So knowledge is power. So it's good that we know. Yeah, for sure. Hold on. Again, the name Zariel I know is of the Arch Devil, who currently is in hell. Okay. But we don't know what the angel's name was before. Mm -hmm. So there might be Brennus might know that through some through some previous discussions. That's again me guessing. But um, 
Zariel definitely has some sort of hold over Brandis. I think, I think, and Fionn definitely and I were all kind of postulating that maybe they're the ones who are keeping Brennis at bay in the nursery. Wait, at bay, or they're the ones that brought Brennis into the gauntlet? It's all, that is also a question to be answered. We don't know enough just yet, but we are starting to learn more about what's keeping Brennis. Well, it would make sense, because according to Isri, one, Brennis isn't supposed to be here, and two, whatever messed with the gauntlet is super, super powerful force. It would kind of make sense a fallen angel turned devil could be that powerful force that's kind of fucking with the gauntlet in a way. So, like, not great, no, but, yeah. you know, knowledge is power, good to know. Um, but what's this statue doing here in this room? Why? What does this have to do with any of this of the labyrinth? That's what I was just about to. So, yeah. man, you didn't see anything about about the circle or anything that doesn't seem noteworthy? I'm not much for religion. Yeah. Is it real? I mean, I can go look at it and see if it's ar arcane, yeah. if it's magical. I don't know, check it out. What do you think? Sure. What are we looking at specifically? I'm going to go up to the circle and see if it's magical, arcane nature, and what it Absolutely. is. And also allow anyone who wants to give me... Tell me your passive investigations, everyone. Thirteen. Nineteen. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's ten plus your invest. Yeah, uh, eleven. Okay. Wow. Uh, so what, what did you roll in your game check? Uh, I rolled a twenty-one for Mark. Twenty-one? Mark okay. Mark. Two things. One, the seal in front of that door is some heavy necromancy. Okay. Oh, Whoa. Sorry, I don't mess with necromancy. All right. Heavy necromancy. Two, you recognize that door. You see it all the time. It's the door into the sanctuary. Yeah. Um, so y'all, that door, we need to get through that door to get to the sanctuary, but um, what's locked it is necromatic energy. I will let you know, it doesn't seem to be locking the door. Okay. It just simply seems to, to be, be in front of it. Have okay. we tried just or opening the door? Well, <laughs> wait, what, what, do you know what you mean that, Nancy? You sometimes do sorcery stuff? That seems more on that line than uh, mine. I mean, very little. Um, I could... I mean, I'll make a check. I can't just... Make it a quick arcana check? Sure. Make an arcana check for me. And could I use divine sense as well in the yeah, moment? Not bad. Go ahead. That's 15 on the arcana. 15? You get a very similar sense that Charlie does. It seems to be written in some... The formulas seem to be necromantic in nature. Uh, divine sense. You've heard of it. I, did, I have. The statue. It is a statue. It is not a lot. But there is something deeply infernal about it. Got it. That you sense about it. Uh, I sort of inhale deeply and just side-eye the statue, uh, and I say, Camber, um, mm -hmm. step away from sure. the statue, I'd say. Let's focus on the door. Let's get out of here if we can. Did the circle give me anything, or just the door? Uh, the circle, heavy necromancy. Okay. Uh, I would avoid the circle, too. It has very, um, negative energy. Uh, de death and type of magic. Right. Do I get Should we try the door? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know how to make magic go away. I never learned that. Yeah, me neither. I'm getting um, a very, very bad portion of deja vu of Camber climbing into a cauldron. Oh, gosh. Uh, uh, that's not yet, Camber. <laughs> I'd like to walk... Charlie, how are you feeling right now, <laughs> health-wise? Um, I'm fine. Okay. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I have full health. I don't feel anything right now. I'm doing good. Um, I, as you say that, I would then, rather quickly, I, to Camber, to Wyatt, and to myself, uh, 12 HP each of Lay of Hands. Alright. Thank All you, 
you. Strong HP. That definitely feels a lot better. Mm -hmm. Just had a, uh, an odd feeling similar to. Um, I can make a door, but I don't know if it will help. I think uh, something I needs have... to be placed in the circle in order for the door to unlock. What if we just tried the door first? Yeah. I think that is That's also a very good saying. idea. Yeah, let's, we have let's, yet let's to eliminate be, that as a we possibility. Have good be just it. Be careful. Yeah. We don't will. know it's locked. <laughs> what are we doing? I will turn around and I will uh, avoid the circle, mm. but I am going to give the door a push and then a pull. Okay. <laughs> both directions. <laughs> I tried. It so goes you just both gotta ways. Try, yeah. <laughs> The door does push open. Okay. And you just see. And you see the inside of the sanctuary. At the far end, you barely see a figure stand up at a desk and sort of looking confusedly at the door. Through the door, there appears to be this fisheye bowl look to it. You recognize this. It's a barrier. It's the barrier that is always at the edge of the gauntlet. Well, the door's open, folks. But, uh, um, it ain't that easy. Maybe it pan throws us real hard. <laughs> I'm good at throwing it. I can, can I throw a javelin at it just to check? No, I'm backing up even further. That bounces back. <laughs> Throwing a javelin? I love a shrug, yes. <laughs> Give me an athletics check. Boom. Uh, or an attack, depending on what you're trying to yeah. do here. I mean. I'm assuming you're just trying to chuck this. I was just so chucking it, so probably an, an attack. Or an athletics? I'll make sure. it an athletics with it with proficiency. Uh, then that is a. 21? Hmm. You know how when you hit something at a certain angle, it comes back at the equal and opposite angle? No. Oh, well, it does exactly that. <laughs> and goes flying back into the room and hits against the brick. Heads up! Of the wall behind you. <laughs> That's why I hit on this side. Okay. Can I gloves of missile snaring? You certainly can. <laughs> to, stop a, to stop anybody from getting hurt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly can. All right, so... Theoretically, Something's gotta go in the circle, folks. It's literally blocking our way. Do we still have gems? I don't think so. I don't think all the gems. Did, when I, when I looked at it, did I get the sense of anything specific would appease or would be a part of this type of ritual? It's gonna drain life. Know what we have to do? No, nope. I'm gonna keep my hat on. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, y'all. Mhm. Mm Camber, I know you said that I, I only heard from the grapevine that you jumped into a, a bat at one point. It's to pretty appease. horrific. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Don't do that again, please. But um. We gotta do the same thing here. We gotta sacrifice something. And as I say that, I'm gonna pop into, I'm gonna like talk over to Snowy and say, Snowy, huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I feel horrible. But I know you're just the, I can pop you back into laugh very easily. Snowball I don't know just about the rest of them. Hits you with the top of his little bird head. <laughs> Charlie, are you sure about this? I can make Snowball come back. Yes, but do you want to endure this moment? I don't want any of you to sacrifice yourselves. I'd rather deal with the pain for the rest of my life than someone else. And I'm gonna to smile do? for a minute. I'm just gonna step into no! the circle. Oh, boy. Pan! 
there's a moment of searing pain, a flash, a flash so quickly your nerves can barely register it. Or for a, a moment, all of your nerves and your skin and your fur is on fire. Pan disappears. Is the bear still there? It is. Do we see Pam on the other side of the barrier? Give me a perception check. Uh, 21. You see a figure laying in the bed where there was not one before. Seeing that, I'm going to run in. Be like, and as I do, be like, this is the only way is there enough room for us to step in together, the twins? Yeah. Yeah. Grab. I'm coming with you, Charlie. Okay. Why well, grab your paw. Jump in together. Your nerves light up with electricity as both Charlie and Wyatt disappear. And Snowball disappears as well. It's just Camber left in the room. Camber and Nico. Nico looks over at you, tail wagon. He's going to look up at the statue and just take every single detail that he can of this particular carving. Just kind of mutter, this better all be fucking worth it. Come on, Nico. Ooh. I promise you there's gonna be some fresh fish on the other side, buddy. Nico gives you a big lick on the side of your cheek. And he I'm does going not to seem distressed. Shove him first falls backwards in. And then I'm gonna go myself. I will let you know, as he disappears, he does not seem afraid. And with that, all of you awaken back. Ooh. Oh boy. Well, that was a trip. Congratulations Woo. on feeding your first labyrinth, everyone. First? Wow. Wow. There's more? Way to go, Amy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. wow. Oh. Um, My notes are missing a little bit here. Is that I've death? been through worse. Long rest? All of you perished. Oh! Holy crap. I felt I told you there was worse. only one way out. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. We could have avoided it all. We could have just... <laughs> Wow. No, I think we did it right. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> the congrats on Mega Scales. Oh my Look, God. just saying, we could have been here two and a half hours ago if we just cast <laughs> that fireball. If we all <laughs> just jumped and fell, if we just oh. fireballed each other. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy. How many hit dice can I get back? Oh my God. I, I am trying to. <clears> wow. Oh, I haven't used any hit dice. Okay, great. I stretch in my bed, and I say, I'll be honest, pretty painful. Yeah, that could have been better. I don't know, we've died a lot of times. That, yeah, was, that's, that was... It cracks the top ten, I will say. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Not pleasant. Well, we made it, I guess, in some way. Well, Isri, it's been a while. Isri actually it pops up. Oh, hello! Hey. Oh, this was not necessarily the direction I was anticipating you were coming, but I, I guess that does sort of make a sense. What did you think was going to happen? I mean, I assumed you would go down into the labyrinth and you would experience a series of delightful puzzles and things. Um, however, um, not long after you disappeared, there was another general memo that went out that there might be something a sort of glitch. Um, I assumed that that meant that you had found yourself somehow once again intercepted by the little girl Brennis, uh -huh. the, the interloper. Um, I will let you know. Um, of course, I have no uh, particular details since they don't um, inform me of all of the workings of the gauntlet since I'm just, you know, an intern here at the shopkeep. But um, uh, I will let you know that um, I was told that they seem to have located part of the problem and they don't think it's going to be a huge issue anymore. They think they can probably 
isolate the problem. So, How reassuring. Um, so yeah. there's that. Uh, they do seem, they wanted to send on my, um, my their deepest apologies and let you know that it um, should sort of work itself out. Uh-huh. Uh, so I don't think you're going to be seeing much of uh, again. Cool. Isri, I don't say this lightly. Fire your quality assurance person. <laughs> I have absolutely no one who is underneath me who I could fire. I have no hiring and firing. You, I am above a promotion. You. you really I do. You don't. need a promotion. You need a promotion. There's sim- I mean, that's what I have. Hopefully at the end of my internship, you know. I feel like your internship the ended job. in a point of time when you made Camber no longer goo. I mean, okay. I thought all these dumb waiters were the interns. You, you're not their boss? No, I'm the intern. Um, oh. See, so the thing about that is that um, you see, so what I could do is quite impressive. Imagine that I'm an intern level here. Yeah. Yep, I'm you pretending with all of my imagination. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. So, you seem to have a lot of authority for an intern. Uh, imagine how powerful everyone else must be if I'm an intern. And yet, Isri. Still think you should get a promotion. Thank you. Rest. You killed Wyatt once? Oh, yeah, sorry. I had oh, to tell yeah. him what happened. Yeah, that's, I wouldn't mind if you tell with them. It's totally fine. Yes, um, you can't. There are certain barriers in place that you can only pass through, through death. Yes, we found one. We we just figured that out. That's how we got. Do they all have the statue of an arch demon? Looking like an angel. Sorry. Name of Zeriel. What was it, Camber? You're the yeah expert. The addition, there's some additional information that your employers might be privy to. Um, um, so there's a, I'm sorry, there's a, a statue of Zario? Yes. yes. A lot yeah. of them. Um, oh. I suppose. Um, next time you, next time, uh, Fionn, you and I need to have a conference. Um, a debriefing, if you will. Because your bosses are going to need to know some pretty darn specifics, if um, I understand anything about them. I mean... If there's a statue of, of an archdevil in the uh, doorway, I mean, that doesn't particularly concern me. Why not? Mm-hmm. Um, because it's a statue, and there are statues of all kinds of terrible beasties and things, and all kinds of terrible constructs here within the gauntlet proper, you know it's only going to get harder, don't you? I mean... Yeah, but this was in, like, the backstage. This was in the gears of the rooms, and we sort of traversed a bit. Uh, Charlie, for a minute, thought that their brother was lost to the ages. It was I very mean, so sad. So you found yourself inside the, the inner workings again, and I'm assuming you. We we had we got we some grabbed. gems, and we put them in some things. We pulled some levers. We hopped some spaces. It was much more complicated. We found a than last statue, time. and we found uh, some rec- well, necromantic. You saw. That, that killed us to get us back here. Certainly. Um, yeah. Well, um, I will say uh, that doesn't uh, that doesn't particularly worry me for whatever reason. Um, again, that the gauntlet has plenty of um, uh, decoration and things of that manner. Decorations that we have to die to traverse. I mean, you had to die to traverse the barrier. I mean that dress. Yes. That's fairly yeah. standard. But like, why are there decorations in the behind the scenes? Why that specific being? I don't think we've seen a lot of other um, religious I beings. Think... And I'm not a religious guy. I'm not much for religion. I wouldn't know. Right. It's an awfully gaudy statue to just be laying around all over the gauntlet just as well. Pass the wood up the chain to um, just keep an eye around the break room, around the cafeteria, around the bathrooms. I mean, you're sort of looking at most of what I have access to. There's the other couple of rooms. I don't really go looking around. Sure, um, sure. I mean, again, there's... The gauntlets are all a sort of their own thing. This sounds very normal. This is not... Can I roll insight? You absolutely can. <laughs> Me too. Go ahead. It's <laughs> not going to be... We're idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Nine. I got a ten. <laughs> Nine and ten. She's telling you it's normal. Thank you. Hey, Ezri, I'm sorry. I don't mean to put your feet to the fire, so to speak. Um, It's good to see you again. It felt it's like to see you weeks well. down there. Um, yeah, I did. Can we, can we talk 
Can we talk merchandise? Can of we talk the shop? Um, Is that fine thing. with everybody? Yeah, Actually, shopping. a few moments before you arrived, I'll need to do some um, looking at them and discovering what they are. Um, but Whatever I will say you need. that um, six rings just appeared here. Oh. On the desk. Um, they do seem to have some s spells in them. So I will probably need to do a little bit of, you know, taking a peek. Um, they certainly didn't come from my employer. Um, I will say that generally speaking, the labyrinth has rewards. Yeah. My guess is that this is what those are. Damn. Um, yeah, so really cool. uh, I'm going to do a little bit of, you know. <laughs> yeah. Six rings appeared? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she holds up a tray that does indeed. It has black velvet in the top and six rings. Wow. Hmm. All right. Did the tray come with the rings? <laughs> yes. Or is that a choice for, I don't know. I don't know. Well, okay, so you, you gotta examine them first and I do. then tell us what. Okay. Got it. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, we can busy ourselves, I guess, as you do so or whatever. Certainly. Um, um, do you know how much money we need? Lister's mate thinks pantry hydrate. <laughs> um, Pant I need to add the extra hydrate. hundred to from the uh, pearl for y'all. Um, so, I do have some items here for you. Just pulled up for you. Okay, so um, I will let you know. I know that the the memo sort of came through that uh, the items from last month, since you were in the gauntlet, I mean in the labyrinth of the gauntlet, would of course not disappear. So the crystal blade, the sun blade, the iron stone oh, of fortitude, oh the spies memo, and the potions of flying, those are still present. Um, we do also still have the store access at the rest stop that is available. Um, so I only have a few other small things. And one sort of lovely thing here. Um, so the first one, it's a small little thing. Um, it is a, uh, and she holds up a small metal rod with some leather tied on the end. Uh, this is a chime of opening. It has, uh, I believe, a few uses, um, but you can use it to open locks and things of that nature. That would come in handy. <laughs> that would have been helpful. Where was, boy, could we have used that? <laughs> it would be at 1,500 gold. Um, the next one is, it's another ring, as a matter of fact, and she holds up a small golden ring with a bejeweled hummingbird on it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a ring of evasion. So if you are trying to evade something, perhaps making what you would technically consider a dexterity saving throw or anything of that nature, uh, and you didn't do such a good job, you could, uh, you know, use the ring and maybe be in a different place. That's interesting. That could be useful. That's Sorry, helpful. to understand, it displaces you somewhere else? Sort of. It basically lets you fix that check. Ooh. Got it. Okay. How, uh, how many times a day? Give me a quick second, or I'll be able to tell you. All right, give me a quick second. Uh -huh. And feel free to look any of these up. Yeah. If you desire, <laughs> that's totally fine. Um, this is the Ring of Evasion. Why? Why is it taking me somewhere else? I don't want to go there. Three charges. Uh, oh. Yeah, say three charges. Uh, expends one d three charges per day. It's if so you fail crazy. a Dex saving throw, you can instead it's use your reaction and expend a charge to succeed instead. Um, that one is 5,000 gold. Oof. Oh, could be useful for somebody. Um, that could be really useful, yeah. The last thing that we have here, and this one will be something that is just waiting for whenever you are able to afford it, and she reaches behind you and gestures at a, what you assume would be a piece of furniture that is covered in a sheet. Um... This is uh, what we call here at the shop a cabinet of keeping. So um, what I can do is um, put an item in there and it will not disappear at the end of the month. <gasps> Ooh, so we can keep saving. That's an interesting feature. It's like layaway. Oh, <laughs> okay, how much that must is be a, that? That one's 20,000 gold. Oh, jeez. All right, boys, 20 Gs to get this beautiful piece of furniture installed. That's, that's now, a good price. Now, again, it's, I will continue to, this will be here until you can afford it, so. Oh, all right, all right. So we, we can make payments. Uh, did we ever yes. buy the, the, the no, rest of no, shop? But you can save up. No. Uh, no, no, you've not purchased that either. Um, and we, we and remind me, the, the two um, beautiful, very, very pretty, Yes. Swords. <laughs> yeah. 
um, me and Fionn were... Uh, um, the crystal blade is 15,000. The mm. sun blade is 12,000. You currently have money. <coughs> So we could buy this cabinet. <laughs> but only but then only put one, one thing of them in. And not be able to buy it. <laughs> right. And not be able to buy the other one. But we got we got a couple more weeks, right? Yeah, At least one. We got one week. One more week. Okay, so you currently have 24,873 gold. Got it. We, we can get a lot of stuff for that. So we are 2,127 <clears throat> away from getting both of them. Oh my gosh. 2,127. All right. I mean, that's a long term solution. Oh, sorry. 2,100. Yeah, 27. Is there anything else is rare? Is that? That's it. And there were rings from the that you have to figure out. Going to have to figure these ones out. I'm I would love yeah. to know about that. And those are just up for grabs after the fact. Oh, okay, so those are like not costly. Oh, no. Yeah, Do they look uh, identical, or is there something different about them? A little bit different. Oh. I um, imagine once I start digging. How long will it take you to dig? Like next month. No, 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 no. I imagine the next time you see me. I'm oh, okay. Right. Got right. it. Cool. Fair enough. That's, okay, that's so fair. is there anything cool. we want to buy? I mean, we could just buy one of the blades, some blade or crystal and scimitar. Just get it out of the way. There's no reason we gotta save for both. No, we should get one of them. Problem is, if you go back into the gauntlet, it might take us a little while to get back and get back. Zarbi, thank you for those thousand pities. Uh, oh my gosh, thank, thank you so you much. I can't. I don't want to miss something. I'd and I get them both. I'd rather, I'd rather know we have them both. We just well, we camp can't. out here. <laughs> we can't. I, uh, we're, we're, we're still shy. Put on a, a little show with some tips. <laughs> I, I, I've been working on a, a poem. Yeah. Uh, I, like, I hope it's a long poem. poem. It Thank is you quite, so quite much long. Again, <laughs> we can't buy both of them. No, we're shy. Now we're shy. One thousand. Two thousand. Yeah, one thousand one hundred twenty-seven currently. You said we're not going to see Brennis again. Because I wrote her a little famous uh, last words. I wrote her a little something. I'm, I don't have any authority over those kinds of things. I'm simply repeating what has been told to me, which is that to tell you um, that they seem to have figured out what the problem is and that they are working on patching it. So they are hoping that you will not have many, if any, more incursions with her. Yeah, that sounds real reassuring. Do you have any insight into how they're patching that, into who they've hired, or what their abilities may be, rather clerical, I, or...? I assume it is the gauntlet master doing these things? Interesting. I, I don't know. Okay, well thank you, Isri. I would like an aside with my compatriots. Uh, Charlie! Yeah. Do you want this sword? I know that at the same time... Fionn has been very interested in having this uh, light stick, as he's phrased it, for vibing purposes, or I, I, vibing, I as he says. I can see it. Yeah. But I don't want to have to make that choice. I mean... We may be back here within a week. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to say you should get one of us over the other one. Um, I, I think Fionn's in the same boat as me. Neither one of us has a magical weapon. Yes. Um, so having a magical weapon would be really nice. Um, I know I'm a wizard, but I, I use my weapon a lot. Um, Indeed. and it doesn't, it's starting to do things where it doesn't actually do much. But I know Fionn, again, is in the same boat, so I don't want to say we should get one over it. So. These are the moments when it's hardest to be judicious. Right. I would wager, I would, I would nominate waiting for Fionn and 
you to be in the same gauntlet at the same time to discuss such a thing. And I'm sure you'd have a Gift of the Magic scenario where I sold my shoes so I could buy your magic sword. I say whatever you do, that sort of thing, but perhaps that would offer some insight into this situation because ideally we all get stronger. Do we have anything we're not using that we could sell? I'm looking through my inventory, yeah. Yeah, I'll look too. That, that, that's that amount? That's twice that amount. Um, Isri? Yes? How much is a riding horse? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, um, at, like, <laughs> if I, if I, if I gave you a riding horse to sell, Tell you. You, have you have a riding horse just on your person right now at this moment. I, I have a robe of useful items that provides a riding horse. Oh, I don't believe you can sell me magical items that come out of the robe uh, in that uh, way, no, unfortunately. No. Just clever. Just, just clever. I was just trying to see if I, you know, pulled off the pouch. And, I got a crowbar. And, and you know, made the riding horse because it, then it just becomes a riding horse. And Isri, this is a mighty fine crowbar, only been used once. I don't suppose you'll take it off my hands for 1,127 gold. And... I'll throw in a hammer and a piton. Two as pitons. As much as I would regularly find myself climbing mountains in the sanctuary, I don't think my employer would be very thrilled. Uh, I will buy back things at the cost of half of the... Right. Well, we we have our mascot. I will that we also let you know used. that you have a few more weeks. Wait, we uh, we do. We I thought I thought it was next week is the last week of the month. It would might be. I yeah, last we week's the last weeks. week of the month. You are very close, As however. Is our um, how, we do, we have the mascot we haven't used. How much would that be to sell back? Um, let me look at my. Sales here. I got a bridge I can sell you back in the Feywild. That might have been before I was keeping um, keeping track. I can Respect. let you know next week. And ultimately, if you are not here with me because that is not information I have directly on hand, and I would have to look it up, we can arrange something. We need twelve hundred more. Twelve hundred twenty-seven. No, eleven hundred and twenty-seven. Isery, um, I would, uh, this is not an easy conversation to have, but, and I remove my hat. <laughs> oh, no. And I say, I would like to offer you an article of clothing such that I doubt you've ever seen the magic of which is such that it could hydrate a village. It's a ghostly hat of dampness. Uh, pardon? It's a ghostly hat of dampness. What? Okay, what? Mm, I'm listening. What am I? What <laughs> does? That sounds pretty dope. I know what that means. What does, what does that mean? I just, I can tell from here that's what it is. It's damp. Okay, and it, it's, okay. Thanks, dampness. And you would pay? Uh, probably <laughs> about two silver for it. Yeah. However, it will give you some like interesting interactions with ghosts who see you wearing it, so. Interesting interactions with ghosts? Oh, I mean, two that sounds, silver is not like going to really it. break. That's <laughs> no, not. No, yeah, that's for sure. Not. Ghostly dampness! You can't put a price on ghostly interactions, all right? <laughs> Especially if I'm damp the whole time. <laughs> the only other solution I can come up with, friends, Camber holds up a <clears throat> short bow. No, you need no, that. No, no, you, you need that. that. We can change this down for 2,500, which gets us both swords, and then I'll find another bow. No, but, what no, but you, you use that. Use. That's sure. how you have a magical but weapon. But I've used it for how long? You guys haven't had anything of this bow. Wait, 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 which bow is the this? thing I'm going to say. You're, you folks have not been here very frequently. I can keep these an additional week. Past right. that point, they will be gone. Um, it is only fair. 
Um, that sounds fair. I think we're fine. Okay, I don't think you well, should sell that. I'm saying, like, it's a, it's a mighty fine boat. Chance to upgrade two at the cost of me is fine. No, nah, you oh, can't. Camera, no, I'm you've sacrificed enough. Sacrifice Remember when you were that weird little like, thing? The whole point is all of us getting up to having magical weapons. Not you losing your And our Ardwolf, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. We're so happy to have you. Like. Is we can't shoot ourselves in the foot. You're weeks. more useful Especially than without a shot bow. Without a bow. I would hope without so. Without a bow, it's very difficult. Shot. Yeah, you're a pretty good shot. Uh, well, now, come on. Yeah, you, you gotta keep that. We already bought it for you. We're not. We're not doing sail back. No, and Good. again, you. The point well, is for all of us to end up having the magical weapons we need, not for you to sacrifice your right. own. Right. Yeah. Well, you're, you're, We'll scratch up the money next okay. week. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have two weeks. We'll, we'll so yeah. let's go so, through this door. Yeah. <laughs> and really quickly, actually, my apologies. I did actually manage while you were all talking. We can mm -hmm. tell you what the rings do. Oh, so how does ten thousand gold? Want to do? <laughs> I don't think they're going to be particularly worth anything because they're summons from the labyrinth. They're sort of ishy. Um, but I don't think you're going to want to sell them. Okay. Okay. So each of them have three castings of a sixth level spell. Oh! Sorry, sorry. Six, How many rings six, are we talking about here? Six. Six. Oh, hey. Okay. Three castings. Three castings, and then I think they will be. What spell? Um, there's this one. Uh, she holds up a slightly green tinted ring. You can see there's some tiny carvings of leaves on the outside. Uh, this one will give you three castings of Scatter. Oh. Um, this one, I think it sort of matches your hat, actually. Looking at it, she holds up a ring that seems semi-transparent, almost. Uh, this one will give you three castings of Primordial Ward. Um, My hat. I'm the only one wearing a hat, right? <laughs> No. I'm wearing a hat. Oh, you're wearing it. Okay, so it it's could be your hat. I was looking directly at your person when at I me? said those words. Okay, well, I don't know this spell. Um, it's a damp spell. <laughs> There's this one. Um, she holds up a ring that's got some teeth carved in. It's a normal band, but it doesn't meet all the way. Instead, there's just some teeth. Mm. Uh, this one will give you three castings of eye bite. Not mine. There's um, this one, um, which has uh, a pink and a blue gem uh, teardrop shaped on each side. Uh, this one will give you three castings of Irresistible Dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're righteous, Jay. It's so good to What's see you. Welcome on in. Pink and blue gems. Pink. That sounds like a. Or so Minotaur ally. Yeah, be honest. Um, I don't want to speak for them. This one, and she holds up a marble, um, a dark gray marble ring, will give you three castings of uh, flesh to stone. Oh, nice. At this one, and she holds up a blue, a wrought blue ring. The metal itself seems to be blue with gold inlay. We'll give you three castings of Mental Prison. That one sounds pretty good. Well. But again, they are three uses, three uses only, and then they are done. And we'll need to attune to these, I assume. No, oh, they're no. just a freebie. Oh, oh my god. But just so you know, that's what they do. All right, all right. You gave me enough time when you were debating. Sure, sure. <laughs> um, Thank you for your research. And when we were thinking about what to tear off ourselves to try to sell. Again, you've got two weeks. Right. Two weeks, and then uh, then I will probably have to run these things through the real now, unfortunately. Will these rings be available should others of our these Action. aren't going anywhere. These okay. are here permanently. These are things that just appeared here on the desk. Again, I imagine that these are rewards for things you did in the labyrinth. That's usually how these things work. Um, twins. Uh -huh. Yeah. Y'all are better with the spells than I am. 
Am I capable of handling this amount of magic? I think so. I mean, I, mean, I think if it's in the ring itself, it's not you, like, okay. making the magic from you. It's you just channeling just or just, like, directing. activating something else. Damn. Just like, just like, uh, Stoney. Stoney can't cast oh, magic without yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Okay. Yeah. We, we put the magic in there and then he just sure. channels yeah. it out. Okay, yeah. cool. That's sort of how it's going to work. These are dope. These are awesome. <laughs> Campus finally putting together like all of like, the, the possibilities. Um, I mean, the, there's there's six of them. Six. Uh huh. Any of them call out to you? Um. I know which one I'd pick. I I. I you certainly have time again. They're not going anywhere, so if you want to confer with your fellow players, I don't think that there's any harm. That's fair. That's fair. You mentioned that one matched my hat, and while you described it as such, it felt to me as if I could almost hear Stony in my ear being uh, very excited at the prospect of what that... It's not so much that I think that they're a bonded pair, so much as I think they are made from some of the same stuff. Hmm. So At least that, that's my initial looking at it. So would it be such that one of us could have the ring, use the spell once, put it in the chest that we have here? Good. Two charges left, another person could come and take it and use it as such. Certainly, if you so desired. So these could be very situational, as it were. That's yeah, true. but you never know when. We kind of just hope to stack the deck in our favor. Okay. That's useful, Isri, thank you. Of course. Worth diving down into the gears and the demon statues? Worth? I don't know, but it was, uh, it was Zario, some kind of consolation. You said specifically? Some Z name, you can yeah. never trust that, that's them. A, that's Zarian. a devil. Yeah, Zarya. Yeah. Um, There's a difference. Do you know what their name was before they were a devil? Zarya? Yeah. Suddenly it was Zarya. Oh. Wait, what did she just say? It's just Zario. Zario was their name before they fell. That was their name before. What about after? Still Zario, to the best of my knowledge. Same before and after. Um, I'm not um, a demonology or a, a, a holy. Uh, it's not my purview, particularly. But, but um, alternatively, I, I do know that, you know, it's just devil. And she was an angel, and her name is Zario. And uh, that's what I Insight check. Go right ahead. Israel's just like so known to lie to us. Uh huh. <laughs> Four. Oh, Israel's Come on. immune to insight. <laughs> I know, right? She's telling you her name was Zario. So you charming. Have so any? Charming. <laughs> that is not really a obvious demon expert, but. Did Zario have children or followers or any sort Full of, of us, relation? Say. No. She's it's followers, n not children per se, to my best of my knowledge, at least not directly, but um, I certainly follow us all over. You know how we can uh, request, like, like I requested my armor here, Camber requested his armor. Can we request a book on this, Zario? Uh, that's not, um, that's not a very specific item. Um, I can take Look, a big I, book of devils. <laughs> I don't know that it's going to give you any information that's going to help you. I mean, it's... That's all right. I'm just curious at this point. The name is Zario, and she's a devil. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I will say, if anyone... I know RJ made one. If anyone else wants to keep making those insight checks, I think now's your opportunity. We're <laughs> Only winding because, down. like... The camera's picking up on a little bit of KG, KG verbiage. Seventeen. Just gonna leave that. <laughs> She's not lying to you. Okay. She's definitely not lying to you. She's lying to herself. <laughs> no. Okay. She, um, she does seem like she probably knows more than she's telling you. Mm. Um, and she doesn't feel good about that. But, uh, yeah, she definitely knows more than she's telling you. Isri, um, while I trust you and I appreciate everything that you've done, and I'm excited to hand off these rings in our, in our faction, I guess I worry that we've now had 
several instances falling into the backstage of the gauntlet. So Were that to happen again, we, what, what, wh why wouldn't we then be either upset such that we attempt to undo the gauntlet ourselves more than we have? No, oh, I don't think you could find that particularly possible. I no. suppose so, but then um, what would stop us from uh, attempting to commune with this Zariel in a way that may because then... Because Zariel's not here. I suppose. Sure. Yes, this is the gauntlet. It's a demiplane all to, unto itself, which simply not connected to the hells. But wasn't there a breach? Uh, not of that kind, no. We're not in somewhere else. Someone else is here. Sorry. No. <laughs> you said it was a little girl, right? Well, she's not just a little girl. Something that is appearing to be a little girl, right? Some, right. Perhaps an avatar of some I sort. doubt very much that Zariel, Archduke of whichever circle of hell that she is, the Archduke is, I can't remember offhand, that she would particularly appear to you as a little girl. I also think that if Zariel herself had somehow managed to get her way into the gauntlet, that it would be a very different conversation indeed, nor do I know any reason why she would particularly want to. Oh. Hmm. Let's stop pestering Israel. I don't want, I'm not trying to pester. I just want to make sure this doesn't happen again. I don't want to see my... Well, if you fall into the behind the scenes of the gauntlet again, you can do what you had to do this time, which is I'm almost certain you had to die, otherwise you would not be here. I told you. We did it! Look, Good. should we should we buy your sword, Charlie? I before thought... we go? Charlie's been through a lot, but... It sounded like you wanted to wait, and that's fine. It sounds like that's what Charlie wants to do as well. Yeah. Well, it will be here, I promise. Discuss. All right. Yeah, we're gonna discuss that, and then um, the rings. I mean, you can also discuss he, that. Here's my here's my question. We tend to sometimes die quickly, but usually it takes us a little bit. So um, do we want to take some rings to go, so we go into the next thing, or do we just want to leave them here and then maybe potentially not have them for a while? I think if you feel good about a ring, yes. Well, I'm not saying I feel good or bad about any particular one. I'm just saying for, you know. It could be like. They could potentially be useful. We have a we tendency have a to leave. We could have a string of really good luck. Yeah. yeah, we well, we could have a string of good luck and we tend to leave things here that we could well, use. Could use. Yeah. On a very consistent basis. I hear what you're saying. And we should each, how many rings? Six? We should take. Three Six <laughs> just a handful. Just, we don't wait, have to use things? them, but we have them. <laughs> we need three Captain Planets worth <laughs> of drinks. No, I mean that what you're saying makes sense. I just yeah. I, again we Let's we see, left the lantern them. and then we went someplace that we needed the lantern. Right. Yeah. We let like we keep leaving things and then we immediately. What I will say, you can probably carry all of them, but I imagine you can probably only wear one. Uh, so yeah, if you want to keep many of them, that's fine, but I imagine you can probably only wear one at well, a time. If we take them all in, we can distribute them to our friends mm -hmm. when they show up. Or we can just leave some So you were chest. suggesting some sort of a ring bearer that would distribute these rings to the requisite. Right. Okay. Right. Certainly that ends well. <laughs> it would be a heavy burden. Six rings for the gauntlet bings. <laughs> that can't be. That was a rhyme! A no, 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 something was stuck. Uh, <laughs> uh, totally, totally, totally stuck. Side. No, 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 no. The that's that, was that, stuck that, outside the drum. These are the, dr the dice to roll. These are the <laughs> dice, which you notice one pile is bigger than the other, audience. These are the dice for rolling, and these are the dice to be added. What happens when we run out of dice to well, the I keep buying know. more dice. Emmy has one of those foot drums underneath that mm -hmm. is making that um, noise. So what, what you're saying is I'm just helping out the dice economy. <laughs> yes, there's some poor <laughs> dice monger out there in the city of Los Angeles who's right, just waiting for me to come by. All right, we've lost the thread. Let's we throw uh, in all the rings and we go through this door now. <laughs> I kind of like that, the sound of the mental prison one. Just saying. I did too, sure, take whichever one you, you like. like. You want it? You want it? You're good. You're good. Um, I'm at a bit of a conundrum because 
the Primordial Ward Ring is like right up my alley. Yeah. But I'm already covered on some resistances. Like, Nika helps me out with cold, mm. whatever I want, really, between all of the elemental types. I'm naturally resistant to, to fire, and my cool ass spider cloak gives me resistance to poison. So there's only. Oh, yeah. A, yeah, there's You're only like three really elemental types. <laughs> That I would be gaining, which is still triple. It would well, double my resistances. And it's still, it still, it, it, it makes you immune. Yeah. So it's better so, than resistant. I think I'll start with there, and if I don't like it, I'll ditch it. All right, yeah, we can always trade. They're yeah, not even attunement. Yeah, so I'll grab the Primordial Ward Ring, I guess. It's yours? I feel like we just have to save the, the uh, Irresistible no, Dance no, that for Fionn. Yeah, we that is Fionn. Yeah, that is Fionn. We to Fionn. It's, it's got his name on it If you already. can put on, a, like, a fancy <laughs> pillow or in some <laughs> sort of case. I want a fancy pillow. Yeah, but a fancier pillow. <laughs> like a colorful pillow. Like a, a reminder this is Fion. Like get a Ezra, rainbow. you've met Fion. I don't carry fancy pillows. Can, just what, 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 can I put a, a requisition request work? for, yeah, a, a <laughs> rainbow rave pillow of <laughs> sorts? Oh, with glitter. If you could put it on a cupcake, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of what Fion likes, right? You that keep adding things. <laughs> right, I'd rather have the book on Zeria, okay? <laughs> Yes. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get that either. I really don't. All right, well. Mm, just so you know. Isri, if you want to ever stop being an intern, maybe just. <laughs> what are you going to hire me? She killed you before. <laughs> she did. <laughs> she did. <laughs> you said it was easy. Yeah. Um, okay, it well then if there would are be, other, but that is not my function. Other rings that anyone wanted. You, you can want, only have one per. You can uh, carry as many as you want, but you can only have one. Okay. You can just keep swapping. Ward, okay. but, um, yeah. but, what, what does the scatter do? Um, <laughs> and <laughs> as you continue, uh-huh. so we can debate all six of these options. All to day look long. at your rings, debating. On that note, everyone. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that is where we're going to end the episode. Nice. Good. We didn't have to go through. We are measuring the screen again. What the heck? I'm so sorry. It's not. It says broadcast to others. Off. It's this all good. It's dumb. all good. Don't worry about it. Thank you all, everyone, so much for being here tonight at the Gauntlet Audience Interactive Dungeons and Dragons, returning to Combat Chaos. Congratulations. We're Seriously, all the combat being the, the discussion about the rings. <laughs> yes, all of you can sit here. Accosting Isri. Discussing the rings. Thank you all so much for being here with us tonight. If you're new here, pop on into our Discord. If you subscribe tonight, you're about to get a big ol' upload of maps. Yeah. Big ol' upload of maps. It's going to be coming on here. Uh, If you want to support us, every time you follow, chat, lurk, subscribe, check out our Patreon. What? If you're a patron, you get the exact same perks in our Discord as a subscriber. Um, go check all those things out. Tell your friends if you're looking for free ways. Follow us on social media. We've got a narrative campaign coming up this fall, y'all. Yeah, so if, if you want to see Scott sit in this chair and do some probably wacky shenaniganery, keep, keep your key. eyes peeled. Keep your <laughs> eyes peeled. It's going to be pretty great. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we are going to be playing, not tomorrow, Sunday, we're going to be playing some more Vulcanoids where Josh, Scott, and I continue to fall into a volcano, and it's going to be great. We're finally um, making progress. <laughs> that is fun to watch. I'm seeing some excitement in chat. I, I have as many details as you have, Zag. There's going to be a narrative campaign. Um, but yes, and go check out our sponsor, Cantrip Candles. And if you do, please tell them who sent you. Tell them. They're These great. awesome folks. It was us. It's us. We're the really awesome folks. I mean, they were the really awesome folks, too. The Gauntlet will return next week, 7 p.m. Pacific, on Friday. You folks have an amazing night. You take care. Oh, my gosh. We'll see you soon. Bye, y'all. See ya. Good night, everybody.